Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600. Oh, 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 oh and Pixel's 70, gone. And <laughs> oh. <laughs> they're all gone now. All gone. And 7800 games. <laughs> Microphone's really high. Oh, I'm sure it's okay. I'm sure it's fine. Um, broadcasting at 60 frames a second, so make sure you're watching at 60 frames a second mm -hmm. because you don't want to miss any of those 60 frames. Nope. At Every all. single frame of cat you can possibly get. Yeah. Because oh. they've left. Oh, it might Come be back. coming back. Come on. Come back. Um, tonight, we have three 7800 games that we're going to be playing. It's a 7800 night. We're going to be playing Arkanoid by Ooh. M.K. Smith, who is Ooh. in the chat. Cool. Uh, we're going to be playing Dragon's Havoc by Revan Tooley. Mm. And we're going to be playing Froggy uh, by uh, Schmutzpuppy. <laughs> Um, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Hi, want to come up? Uh, who support the show? Uh, Eight Bit Swami, Al Nefer Armscar, Coder, Catfaman, Two D Catalogs, Carl, Charles and Check, Coconut, Dianoi, Dan, if you see Drexel, M U Dan, Great Defender, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Johnny W C, Juan Urado, Carl G, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, Make Muse, Miss Command, M K Smith, Mister Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Storm, Packer, at VG Cohog, R C Seventy, Repentless, VG Six, Sweet, Smitty B, Socrates, Spiceware, Esmeer, Stephen A. The D Train, the Welshman, Tiki Dan K, and Trek M D. Uh, a lot of names. It is a lot of, a lot names. of names. And you can get your name added or re added yes. if it has been on there and it isn't anymore by uh, clicking on um, a button. I don't know what it is, but it's uh, you have to link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and yep. then click subscribe somewhere. You get a free subscription every month. That's so right. it's. You're a just, subscription well spent. You're just you throwing throw it away. It on zero page home. You're just yep. throwing it away if you don't yep. subscribe to That's Zero right. Page That's right. or somebody else. Mm -hmm. But you know, you watch Zero Page, so why not send it our way? <laughs> um, and also make sure you follow and subscribe uh, for all the updates on which games we're going to be playing mm -hmm. on upcoming shows and any other exciting news, mm -hmm. special events, things like that, like the Atari Homebrew Awards that we had. We've got a box, and it's a very big box. Probably yes. one of the biggest boxes that I've, we've had on the show to open. Let's see what's in it. Yay, it's a big box. Oh, is it a heavy box? Oh, it's not heavy, oh, it's not but it is big. It is huge. Um, I think I know what it is. And this is something, oh, that I've been looking forward to for so long. Mm. It solves so many problems all at once. Multi-purpose. That would be a very big box for the dragonfly, I feel. <laughs> Way too big for the dragonfly. Unless they pack it, it like is. Amazon packs you it. You did catch the fact that I'm drinking out of an Atari age glass. So, oh did. no. I the stole hand. it. It's his glass. It's limited edition Atari <laughs> age glasses. With my tart ale. So Not sold good. in stores. Uh, you're going to have to hand wash that after, by the way. <laughs> that does not go through the dishwasher. That's fine. Uh, right, let's see that. what's in this. Have you consumed Atari today? <laughs> today she has. Yeah. We've got. Oh, oh. Packing. I love doing that. Oh, look at the packing material. Oh, it's a box full of packing material. There you it's go. What I've always wanted. I can pack up things myself now. <sighs> oh my goodness. <laughs> the cats run out of the room. <laughs> They're like, the oh cats like terrified. That's too much noise. <laughs> Too much noise for cats. Mm -hmm. It's well wrapped, which is uh, very good, which makes me very happy. Get a scissors, some more. Cut some of the tape. Is that enough? No. One more side. Can anybody guess what it is? Besides the dragonfly? <laughs> it's not the dragonfly. It's way too big. Oh, it's, I'm starting to reveal it. Yeah, it's coming apart. Yeah. Yeah. Is that paper? That's not show paper. I don't know what it says on the paper. <laughs> Captain Man 2D, thank you for thank the subscription. You. And we are actually, okay, speaking of weird Atari Vox sounds, we are one away from 650 followers on Twitch. Really? Holy One smokes. away. That's so going up so fast. If anybody is watching and they are not following, mm. that means you get alerts. Mm -hmm. um, click it now and be at the 650th follower. And I'll read your name out. I hate how this sub auto cancels each month. 
I exactly. I it should it should the next time you log in just kind of pop up and say, "Oh, your subscription's about to expire. Would you like to uh Oh yeah, that packing you know. That packing slip does not need to be shown on camera. That's okay. You can pull it out. Yeah. Like Anybody just, guess just, yet? Just a quick renewal. No, yeah. Nobody has guessed yet. No one has guessed. Oh, they can probably. They're probably getting there. <laughs> you're, you're well. You can cut yeah. Yeah, for yeah. prime for Prime, you have to uh, resubscribe. For normal subscriptions, like money subscriptions, it auto oh, resubscribes. Okay, maybe it is a Prime thing. Yeah, that could that but makes sense. It doesn't tell you that it's expired, so you can't even use yours for somebody else if you wanted to. Oh my goodness! Yes, we will be playing seventy-eight or. Well, not 7800. We'll be playing 2600 Robotron at the end of the night. Yeah. Ro Robot War 2684. Nice. Um, Ooh, because so fancy. That is part of the reason I bought the Super Twin 78. <laughs> number 86. <laughs> it's not an Amico. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And this is the first one oh, with these so two. Pretty new the gems the clear oh. uh the clear gray like the smoky yeah and the purple and the clear smokes a uh, clear purple one these nice. are the this is the first one off the line with these two with those two so do you yep. get to pick them or do they come in sets you get to pick all these things oh that's so nice you get to pick what color buttons what color and what color knobs and you can mix and match whatever you want on whatever side that's so nice and these are proper they look solid and that's metal arcade yep that's metal on the on the uh wow that's so nice yeah those are those things yeah this Ooh. is from ed ladden uh, high quality uh i know people love i've never seen a complaint about uh these joysticks no um no. so i have all the trust in the world that this is going to plug in and just work. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's got even these straps. These are the exact ones I use. That's awesome. He knows. He knows. <laughs> he knows. Buck Owen says buttons are on the wrong side. <laughs> for <No>. you. <laughs> it's for some people. Yeah. For me, who is left-handed, they are on the correct side. And this is the way uh, we grew up in the arcades playing it. Yeah. They forced us to have the joystick on the left. That's true. To slow us down. Yeah, to slow the left-handed. Luckily, it yeah. didn't matter for me because mm. the left-handed people were just fine or people that got used to it. Mm. But people who are right-handed, who have more dexterity with their right hand, they want it on the right and the buttons on the left. Mm. So you can get the option, I believe. Whatever you prefer. Yeah. I, I, I'm just used to it being on the left. Yeah, so am I. Yeah. Typewriters were designed to slow typing down too. Yeah, they were because the little... Um, the keys that would strike the paper, uh, well, would strike, take strike, strike yeah. the ink, they yeah. would get bunched up if people were too fast. But yeah, people yeah, got yeah. fast anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and true. then, true. and then typewriters got better. Yeah. Um, so let's, uh, I'll put this over. No, you can throw it. There's not much room over there. So I'm really excited, uh, because it's a 7800 night, uh, coincidentally. Mm -hmm. So we'll be playing with this joystick. Is there enough room for both of us to? I think so. We can make oh, that yeah. work. So I was hoping it was big enough, not too big. Yeah. Because this is fairly light for what it is. Uh, which is I don't nice. know. It doesn't feel that light to me. It's, it's heavy enough, but also light. But actually, enough. that works well if on each of our legs. Yep. Excellent. So exciting. I am very excited. Yes, get, kitty. Get out of there. Get, 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 get. get. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we've got a kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Except that makes them think that there's a. A spider in the room uh, yeah that's our insect noise so yep open it up put some bricks in it yeah if it's not too heavy it feels if it's not heavy enough I you can um pretty heavy attach some metal in the bottom but it's it's definitely heavy enough yeah and just the right width for a lap yeah there you go there you go that's uh, ramirez says mine has the stick on the left too like galaga uh, galaxian yeah yeah i think that's what i'm more used to so yeah. i was alerted um today Mm -hmm. uh, by Andrew Davey, who is in the chat, Lovely. along with Miss Command, S. Ramirez 2008. <laughs> the games are uh, Crossbow, Al Nefer, Azure, Nathan Strum, uh, Buck Owens, that's a new name, welcome, uh, Carl G., uh, who else? Packrat, VG. Uh, mm -hmm. See anybody else? Mitoko 8 bits. Oh, 
Yep, the Toko 8 bits. And everybody else who Anyone is we're lurking. Missing? Elnifer, I saw in there. Yep. I don't know if you said uh, but, her name. Uh, Revan Tooley, whose, whose game we're, being, we're oh, playing cool. tonight. Yeah, yeah. Dragon's Havoc. Uh, and Coconut E1. Oh, sneaking in. And Dan. AVC. Uh, but uh, Andrew Davy alerted me today mm. that there has been some updates to the uh, plus card. Um, specifically a chat room in the plus cart. So you can chat online through 2600. Now, I, I will just, I will just plug in the plus cart to join the, uh, the exclusive, uh, plus cart chat. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> that's so cool. It is. So let's, I would think the typing would be rather slow, mind you. But, it's, uh, uh, it's okay. Let's take a look at that. <laughs> That's so crazy. We're ready. Watching you and curling. Hey, coconut you one. Curling. Curling as in throwing rocks down the ice? <laughs> or curling, doing curls with no, your bicep? I don't think so. There's only one kind of curling. Yeah. Uh, so let's take a look at this. Um, so this, is, right now, let's see. Um... So right now, this is an updated version of the plus cart. Um, this is like a developer's mm. stream. So this chat is not available yet to oh. the general pl uh, oh, plus cart users. But we're going to take a look at it okay. so they know what's coming. Okay. Um, so right now it's in setup, which I'm sure it'll be moved out of setup because it's not a mm. setup thing. Uh, it is right here uh, under chat room. Let's see if there's any other users online. Oh, a bunch, mm. actually. So there's one from Chile, uh, Canada, which is us, Brazil, and Australia. So mm. four people. I'm not sure what those requests are. Um, so you go to uh, the chat room here. And <clears throat> and you can see I've typed something oh, already. Greetings from Canada. Greetings from Canada. And Boo says, oh, Canada. <laughs> so I think there's about six or seven people who can chat right now. Okay. Um, who are doing the testing. Who, who have who have access to that feature. Yep. Uh, so Very cool. So Very cool. Go down the page, um, testing out the new chat. Let's try a long message. I wish my first was more profound. Uh -huh. Keyboard is great. Fast keyboards are cool. So you can yeah. go to the right as well. It goes page by page. Mm. Australia wakes. Oh, now we know who Boo is. Mm -hmm. Andrew Davey. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Alnifer, hello, first message here. Mm -hmm. And you can go back. And, and Andrew Davey says, reload. Reload. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Greetings to Twitch viewers. Ah, ah. nice. You typed it really fast because yeah. you missed an eye. Yeah. But <laughs> that's okay. We'll oh, type that's in so a, cool. We'll type in a new message. Okay. So oh, what it's should a we keyboard. say? That's good. Hi to Twitch. Nothing too long. Or hi Twitch. So you can go. Uh, Hello world. No. No. Um. <laughs> Somebody already uh, did the first I'm sure message. They did. If it was the first message, that would be a good uh, one. Yes. So you can go lowercase, uppercase, and it divides it into keyboard mm. rows. And then you do go to symbols for the space. And there's a bunch of other symbols. Mm. So space. Then you go back. Oh, no, I messed it up. I've d I did that last time when I was typing. Uh, uppercase. <laughs> H. So it's pretty, it's pretty quick. And lowercase. Hi. Symbols. Space. Uh, did I type space? Yeah, there we go. Uh, uppercase. Yeah. T. W. Oh, no, we don't want to do uppercase. Let's do lowercase. <laughs> w. <laughs> I laugh I because uh, I like how you're like, it's pretty fast. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's slower than those old cell phones where you had. <laughs> the like, T9? Yeah, that's what it was called. That's what you need, actually. You and need symbols. you you just need the uh, the the team. Oh, so you just go in the in the yeah. Like, pick hey, it do, a do, do, pick do, it. Do, 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 do. Uh, maybe this is pretty fast. So <laughs> there we go. So you go high twitch. Put that as an option. And you can delete characters if you want. Nice. And then you go enter. Mm -hmm. And it posts it to the chat. There you go. Hi Twitch. It's like naming inputs on an AV receiver over and over and over. <laughs> Tanya just solved. <laughs> yeah. <tonight. laughs> Naming inputs on A, B, or C. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Oh yeah, where you scroll through letters, yeah. or or if you put in your high score, it's like oh, yeah. this is faster than high score. Oh, Scrolling yes. through yes. twenty six yeah. plus ten plus however many symbols there are, and you have yeah. to think, is it faster to go backwards through the alphabet? Mm -hmm. Or forwards and go through the numbers. Mm. No, this is way better. So there it is. High Twitch. Mm. Uh, and it has CET. So what? So that'd be 3 a.m.? Reload. Reload. Oh, reload. <laughs> Andrew Davies reload. says reload. Hi, back. <laughs> awesome. We could just do this all night long. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Mm. Um, but the original reason I was going to... Uh, Ooh, crossbow. Yep. Yes. Uh, he says, Tanya just solved the problem. Use the keyboard controllers to scroll through the sets of letters like old phones. One, two, oh, three, you could. four. You could. Yeah. You could have the keyboard you controller could. plugged into port two. Yeah. Go tch, 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 tch. Yep. 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 That would work. That would work. Um, anyway. <laughs> right now, uh, there is, um, besides that mm. chat, mm. there is a contest. To win a free plus cart so anybody who doesn't have a plus mm -hmm. cart or i guess if you have one as well you can enter but it's better for people who don't have one there are four fonts that they have built into the plus cart and they and the developers want you to pick out which one you think is the best mm -hmm. um so if you go to display preferences uh this is also in the atari age forums and i'll uh post the link to the voting as well there um so you go to font style and we've got four fonts uh, captain morgan spice <laughs> sorry <laughs> so the first one is small Cheers. caps and you can see yes. uh, a preview there yeah. of it i like the, i like all the font options we went through these before i think uh not all of them no and i think they've they've refined them oh, I remember. um I remember so the there's captain small morgan caps spice. yep uh, then there's Trichotomic 12. Mm -hmm. um, there you go. And that one is a bit of... Uh, it's <laughs> it's a thinner one. And then I think Captain Morgan Spice is like a thick one. Mm. More of a, a handwritten style. And then there's a Glacier Bell, which is very close to trico Trichotomic 12. Trichotomic 12? Trichotonic. Tonic? Ta no, it's an M. Is it? That one is an M. Trichotomic. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Because that's an N. Uh, there's no N. Trichotomy. Trichotomic. Okay. Yeah, Glacier Bell is my favorite too. <laughs> GB yeah. is a clear winner. Everyone likes GB. I just like that it's called Captain Morgan Spice. That's I mean, the reason why I like it. <laughs> these are these will still all be available. They're great though. These will still all be, be available yeah. to everyone. But they're okay. trying to see which one is the default. So when people oh, plug in the cart for the first time, which one should they see? I think Glacier Bell is, is one of the nicest ones. And that's I, what I voted for. Yeah, I, I like so. that one too. Uh -huh. I just, I, like I said, I just like that there's one called Captain Morgan Spice. <laughs> yep. So let's take... Trico trichotomic. Trichotomic. Andrew Davey, you're not helping things. <laughs> the trichotomic. Uh, <laughs> Glacier see. Bell. GB. Everyone's voting for GB. Oh, well, that's what I like. of clear legible. <laughs> Wingdings, yes. Wingdings, <laughs> just totally illegible. So. Just, just a string of those boxes, those little squares. Yeah, square, just a, square with X's boxes. In them. Yeah, exactly. Box, 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 box. So here is the <laughs> link no comic sense. to it, and you can vote if you are a Atari Age member. Yeah. Um, and um, and then also oh, yeah. leave a message below if you want to be entered into the giveaway for the plus card. You can vote and not be entered into it uh, at, with your reasons why you think that one should be it. Uh, it doesn't say when the poll closes, so I have no idea when it closes. Right now, uh, Glacier Bell is winning at 47.83%. Trichotomic, is, see it is an M, is at 348 mm. Oh, pretty high up there. No one likes the Captain Morgan Spice. Just you. <laughs> Uh, for the I name. just like the name. And then small caps, <laughs> and then Captain Morgan Spice is the yep. last. I, I, I would vote for, for GB as well. I think <laughs> oh, I like okay. that one. I, I Like, looking looking um, honestly at the actual... Um, Don't emphasize yeah. Tomic. Emphasize Cot. Cot. Tri trichotomic. 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 I see. Uh, and they've got, if you yes. don't have uh, a plus card already, they've got 
uh, let me switch over to that. Uh, they've got examples of what they look like uh, taken on a CRT. Uh, and there's some more examples. And you can actually just download these for Stella and look at them yourself because they've got the uh, binary files there. What is that font geek? Wilhelm. Oof. Yeah, that's the font we need. Where is that? Oh, mm -hmm. Is that working? Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm not dragging. Oh, I can't. Let's see. Oh, wait, no, it's it's showing. It's go. showing. You keep. No, I know. It, I have to do yeah. it properly. Nice, nice. That would be very illegible. <laughs> and there's not enough <laughs> dots in a 2600 to yeah. do that. Uh, so they've got examples of all that. Uh, Captain Morgan Spice was named by uh, Al Nefer. Nice. Trichotomic 12 is pronounced like the word trichotomy. Uh, and was so so named because it's three pixels wide, mm -hmm. trichotomy meaning of three parts, mm -hmm. and it's 12 scan lines high. So now you know. <laughs> uh, Glacier Bell is so named because it's an anagram of clear legible. Yeah. And that's what that's why I, I liked it as well. Uh, small Caps is the original 32 character display font from Thomas Yench, and the other three are designed by myself. I don't see the VHZC font there, though. That's like, right, uh, that, outline that font. That should be the outline font, should be one of the options. That that would be very interesting to read a <laughs> thick block of text in it. Because, <laughs> it's, said, it's, because it's all outlined, so it's, yeah. it would just be like th like thick, thick blocks yeah. of solid yeah. with, with like letters uh, mm. uh, stenciled into it. More cute than practical. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so, uh, Andrew Davies says uh, a couple weeks at most it'll run for. Nice. So, there you go. We'll go back to that. So, I have picked Glacier Bell for my default on my machine. And, uh, oh, I am moving. There we go. So, uh, we'll, we'll be taking a look at the Plus Cart again mm -hmm. soon because we'll probably be playing like uh, some games on it for high scores and mm -hmm. things like that um, because it has updated quite a bit since uh, we last used it but there's lots of ROMs it's a great device look at that all the mm -hmm. and there's a person who keeps it up to date with all the latest uh, homebrews on here uh, mm -hmm. there's Shattered Earth was put out today those nose hairs. The were nose put hair out. games. <laughs> Those were put out today. There's there's Slide Boy. Nice. Mr. Yo Yo. Nice. It's got all the dates too, so you can see it's, it's very up to date. Hellways there too. So that you don't have to sense. download anything. You just pop it in, and it's automatically there for you. Uh, but we'll take a look. Everywhere. Ugh. Oh, sorry. Come here, kittens. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, Andrew Davies says, testing on an actual CRT is recommended as the blending phosphor effects really does make some quite some difference on how these look. They all look much better in CRT than in emulator screenshots. Uh, there are also some uh, visual differences that show up on CRT that might influence your choice. And that's why they've uh, posted some CRT uh, um, screenshots as well. Uh, I wanted to show a robot a, a Atari 7800 demo. Mm -hmm. um, and now we can actually plug this new controller into the 7800. So I think we're done with the 2600 for a little bit here. Um, let's unplug that. And this will actually kind of test out the new, the new setup here. If you can hand me... Oh, I can do that. Oh, plugging this in. Watch out, there's a cat right under uh, your bum. Of that's where the cats Come always go. Oh, nice and tight. That's good. So they won't just fall out. Good. So this will be our now go-to joysticks. <laughs> That's so exciting. Very exciting. Kitten, it's so exciting. Oh my goodness. So this is a demo posted by Playsoft. He put this together. Pixel if you can press is the button. extremely excited. Down about to today's date. About the 7800 games today. He is. He's very really, excited. Really, really, really excited. So, uh, he says, uh, Playsoft said, this is kind of pointless, but it was an exercise in learning 7800 programming mm -hmm. and a chance to dig into how the Atari robot demo worked. Basically, loads of graphics data. Thanks to TIX for the new graphics. Uh, so, it loaded up. It's the bottom one. Where? Oh, this one? Yeah. 
uh, Fragmire for the NES TMNT Pokey Music. Kid. And DMSC for the LZSS Compressor, Pokey Player, and Rensoup for the RMT 2L ZSS. Ooh. And I was just really impressed, so impressed by the graphics on this. It says, you can take control of a robot by moving the joystick left or right. On port 1 for the Atari robot, port 2 for his lady friend. Press the trigger to change their respective colors. Pressing select will change the road color. So that one is for that robot. And you can look. I like the gray. Purple. It's actually a robot face in... Uh, the female robot. <laughs> and you can move them too with the joysticks left and right. Come on. Let's come on. You're being crazy. And unfortunately, it is not set up for the Pokey chip in the concerto. It's at the wrong address, I believe. So it's not playing the music. But what I'm going to do is play the music for you guys through the. JS7800 browser. Kitten. I love these Driving buttons. Crazy. They're clicky. Oh, they're so Kitten, clicky. Don't. Oh my God. He does this every time. What is he doing? He rubs against my full glass of water. <laughs> One time he knocked it over. Oh, cat. He's just so, so happy and he's excited. so happy right now. Such an excited cat. This might be really loud. It is impressive. Why is there desktop audio? Why is there lots of noise? There we go. You guys should be able to hear that now. It's really good music. Hi, you're so happy. Robot fight. Yeah, if they only could punch each other, right? Yeah, the animation's amazing. The graphics are amazing. Um, and the music's really, really good, too. The music's coming from somewhere else, but anyway. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Okay. So I'm going Beautiful. to stop the music here. Um, I have a question for people out there. Mm -hmm. um, switch back to this. Because we're going to be playing Arkanoid today. And it has a number of control schemes for it. Mm. You can use a joystick. You can use a paddle. You can use a driving controller. Mm. You can use a roller ball. And you can use two different mice controllers. Okay. For, for the input. Uh, now, I don't... I have everything but the mouse uh, for those inputs. So we're going to be taking a look at each of those. Oh, all of them. Yeah. And seeing cool. which we which like the prefer. best. Yeah. yeah which okay. we prefer. Mm. Um, so I have a question about this device right here. Um, I found this adapter for a mouse and it says that you can use, um, what it is, is a USB to uh, DB9 converter. Okay. So you can use modern USB mice on uh, 8 bit computer. Okay. Or at least for the Atari ST or Amiga. Okay. Computers. And the Omega Matrix games, some of them, mm. the uh, hacks for all those rollerballer rollerball games. Yep. Some of those had options for the um, Atari ST mouse as well. Okay. So I know it works. An Atari ST mouse works on the 2600 and 7800. But does this adapter work for it? Because mm. it supposedly converts, wireless mouse too. converts either USB or, I mean, that's the same thing. Yeah. Because it's still USB signals through yeah. the wireless. Would this work, this adapter work for um, the 7800 and 2600 as well? Mm. So if anybody knows, please let me know, and I will definitely pick one of these up, because then we can use future mouse games. Possibly. Because somebody could make, you know, Sim City, which somebody's yeah. actually working on. Yeah, true. Right now, and they could convert it into a mouse. Mm. I would be concerned about the lag using a wireless device, though. Yeah. yeah it so. probably doesn't have to be a wireless. As long as though. it works. Yeah. 
Um, if there's lag or not lag, yeah. you could use just use a, a wired a version. A wired version, yeah. So this just gives the option. I don't know why they say, like implicitly say it's a wireless USB mm -hmm. mouse adapter. It's just a USB mouse adapter. Um, but if anybody knows, either watching right now on Twitch or on later on on YouTube, please leave a comment below on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Buy one and test it. Worst case scenario, you waste your money. Yeah. But we're, but we're all the well, wiser yeah, yeah, for Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I really think it will work. I think it should. Well, I don't know because how much. I should, I should actually ask him how much is it before he oh, buys it. Oh, it's $6. It's six. Oh, okay. Like, that's, that's nothing then. It's like, yeah. let's go to US dollars yeah, usd that's pretty low uh, i mean you'll probably have oh, to ship six. it 26. 26 oh yeah well that's six a little bit more than six but yeah yeah, yeah so that's not uh, terrible yeah that's it's not, not terrible. terrible yeah but if someone has tried it it's worth yes yeah, please let me know i'm not in a rush for it yeah but It'd i be would cool. have cool that option try. yeah because i don't want a game to come out and they go oh i don't have a way to play this game properly mm. i want to be able to have all the controllers to play it mm -hmm uh revenge would be the best place i have a quick i'll have a quick because somebody posted about an adapter like this once mm. in the forums so but it wasn't really super conclusive mm. and nobody followed up on it gotta stop messing the show opening greetings programs welcome captain classic anyway so um the the game we're playing tonight arkanoid has an option mm. for the atari st mouse mm. um and it might be a great input control i don't know i don't think so though i've played i've you have to play it i've played it paddle games yeah. on the uh, uh, atari 2600 emulator that you can use your mouse as a paddle you get lost because you move the mouse too far it hits a wall and you have to get back into the range with the mouse and mm. it just it there's it feels like there's this lag every time you're past a wall mm. but who knows I know he mentioned newer mice are better resolution, but it was supposed to use original Amiga or ST mice. Okay, mm. well, we shall see. Uh, what else do we have here for news? Oh, Daryl Spice Jr. and John Champeau posted today about CDFJ uh, Plus uh, updates. Um, DPC and CDFJ were designed for the Melody board, which was 32K ROM and 8K RAM. So that's the source of the constraint. Somebody was saying, oh, why are John Champo's all, all of his games 32K mm. CDFJ? Because that was the upper limit so far for uh, the Melody board okay. at the time. But they have developed a new CDFJ Plus, uh, which extends the amount of ROM and RAM an Atari 2600 game can have hmm. in those modes. So they have four new ones, 64K and 16 RAM, 128K and 16 RAM, 256 and 32K RAM, wow. and 512, 512 and 32K RAM. So half half a meg, which is huge. That is massive the in only the Atari th world. Yeah. It's massive. The only yeah. thing I know that uses 512 yeah. in the 2600 is a bad Apple demo, which is basically a, a, a three minute long animation using Playfield. Wow, okay. So it's just storing visual data. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah. it runs at 15 frames a second or mm. 10. Like, it's it's a lot of data. Mm. Um, the new CDFJ Plus driver is used for it. I'm aware of one project in development that's currently using the 64K version, mm. which I'm not aware of right now, so we'll see. Uh, I don't think so. And then John Shampo says, Hi there. It looks like Daryl Spiceware uh, cleared things up. Thanks, Daryl. I do have an opportunity to use CDFJ Plus for Gorf Arcade now that has been finalized uh, and used actively in C-W's Amazing Xevious. Oh, okay. It's Xevious that's using the 64. Mm. Uh, but I'm going to stick to 32k for the reasons you described i don't want to be working on gorf arcade for another year as i have delivery date set for august 2021 mm -hmm. with that said i'm considering using cdfj plus for champ sports baseball which is his next upcoming game next reveal because mm -hmm. he's shown i don't know if he's shown pictures i think he may have or maybe i've just seen them um so i can use the extra rom for players names stats etc more importantly, use 4K of that to save the stats on the card itself and not have to rely on the save key for that. 
Oh, this has places to save it on the cartridge itself? Wow. That's very interesting. We'll still have to uh, have Atari Vox support for voice, which will take up a bunch of ROM. We'll plan on adding uh, for full announcer phrases. Hmm. Now batting, number eight, the left fielder. That's exciting, etc. Games that use the extra ROM uh, for data only and not necessarily gameplay shouldn't add as much development time than, say, a game that used the extra 32K for additional levels, features, etc. It'll be fun to find out. So a little bit of information for future possible sizes of games and how big they can get now mm -hmm. with uh, these new this new support for CDF Plus drivers. Uh, CDFJ Plus drivers. Don't want to leave out the J. That's John Shampo. <laughs> uh, first game up, Arkanoid. It's by Matt Smith, MK Smith, who's in the chat tonight. Excellent. Oh, Cheddary does, uh, I'm mispronouncing that terribly, uh, does on-cart saving now. Nice. He showed something early on. Okay, so he did. Uh, did ZPH already cover the plus card? Yes, we did. Uh, just rewind Just that. missed it. Just. Yeah. We just just covered it. Um, so Arkanoid was first posted May 28th, 2019. This build is about a month old. January 29th. It's a 128k game. Uh, games he's made. Arkanoid, Million Molly, uh, uh, a Tower of Rebel game. And he makes the Atari Dev Studio, which a lot of people use to make their 2600 and 7800 games. Mm. It is really good. Highlights things, does automatically um, press one button, builds your game from code to playing, launches the playing. Uh, so, oh, there we go. Let's go to the first game. What, what did they say? Che tier E. Tier. Tier. Chatiri. Tier. Ch Chatiri. 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 So I'm just Chatiri. kind of putting the emphasis in the wrong place. <laughs> Probably. So uh, we're going to play with the joystick first because it's plugged in. I'm and I know the joystick's probably not going to be the best control because it is an analog well, control yeah. or digital control. It's like Depends steady the, to the left. Yeah, I guess so. Steady to the left, steady to the right. Uh, I don't know if I got the ball into there. Oh, there we go. Ah. What just happened? Oh, I, I didn't hit the button, though. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, well, we're going to have to wait till it goes through this. You did or didn't no, hit the button? No, I, I didn't pick paddles. I was trying to... Oh, there. That's where you... Okay. Okay. Difficulty. There we go. I didn't hit the button, but it must have been on paddles, so... Oh, so it was misreading it. It, it. it mis misread it, yeah. Not cheddary? Mmm. Chattery. <laughs> That's a little too loud here. So, have you... I can't sorry. see it with the volume. <laughs> sorry. The volume's in right the wrong place. Have you played Arkanoid before? Yes. Yes, sure. poorly, yes. yes <laughs> poorly. So, C... Oh, get that L if you can. Oh, L is the best. L is for lasers. So people have used this, played this game before. Oh, multiple. Oh, 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 back to one. Yeah. So there's things that drop down. It's it's like breakout, except there's <laughs> except there's bonus things that drop down, right? Yeah. And it's and it's like pong, as well. It's like wall ball, a pong. Except now there's uh, bricks to break through. So it was an evolution from ah, pong up to this. That always happens to me. Needs paddles. <laughs> We're going to play with all the controllers. We're going to play with all the controllers. But we're trying each one first, and we're going to evaluate which one we think we is the best. We each enjoy the best, because yes. it might not be the same thing. I'm not always very happy with paddles. So. Everybody's saying, use the paddles. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I, I like will. using a joystick. I'm used to these games. Get with that L if you can. There. Shoot, 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 shoot. Kill, kill, kill. Don't get anything else. No! Oh. I don't oh. understand. That's long. Oh, it's e sticky. E is for extend. That's a good one. I like E. L is great because you can end the uh, level really quick. S is for slowing down. S is really good too because it makes it easier. Hmm. Do you have a light gun? Uh, I have a gun on the way. Do you want to do the joystick? I have a gun on the way that I will be altering to be a light gun. Okay, I'm coming back. I'm just getting more beer. Okay. In my bye beautiful bye. Atari age. Look. 
Yeah, it's very nice. Or glass, I should say. No. We actually joked about the light gun. Now, how would you implement a light gun on this? Hmm. Hell. Hey, there we go. Ugh. Of course, the L really distracts you, unfortunately. Keyboard controllers. Somebody was joking in the forum about... Ooh, a slow and an L. That's what I want. About using the switches on the 7800 to control it. Uh, which is a feasible thing. Oh, what is B? That goes to the next level. I just about died. Now, the version we're using is a special version uh, made for the concerto cart. I have no idea where I got it because I looked in the the forum thread again and it's not there. I, I don't know where it was posted. That's what you want to do on this level. Yep. Where's D? Oh, there we go. Oh, and they all come down. And out. they all come down. Yeah, that's usually Hell. Ah, ah, ah! Oh, I missed both of them. No. MK Smith, the intro tune is sounding wrong. A bit like Popeye not playing right. Well, mm. maybe. Yeah. You're yeah. having some issues. There's things. There's things. There's, there's stuff. There's things that happen. The concerto card is a work in progress. It's miles better than the last chip I had in this. So mm. this chip is out of a 5200. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So the yeah. joystick is... Well, not bad. Okay. It's fine. I it's, like unused it's joysticks. It's playable. Um, but now we're going to switch over to... What do you think? Trackball next. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna use the paddles last because I think that's gonna be the obvious. Thank you, Dan ABC, for subscribing. Yay! Did you understand what it said? No. Zero page homebrew subscriber. Oh, nice. No, I didn't hear. I didn't understand Ow. that. Oh, you okay? You I didn't okay. understand that at all. Trackball. See if we can unplug Just it. ended today. Good, good, oh, good call on good uh, re resubscribing. Okay. Excuse me. Trackball, and there's a cat behind me. Nope. Hello, Kitty. Okay, press button. So, as you can see, it can use the trackball, it can use the joystick, you can use a mouse, you can use a driving controller, and you can use a uh, paddle. So, right now, we're on the trackball. I don't like the trackball. <laughs> I don't like the trackball. <laughs> it's it's really oh oh oh, because you have to like scroll it twice almost. Oh, because like, it doesn't go the ah! doesn't go the full extent. Yeah, it's it's not that's not the greatest. Yeah, slow. That'll help you out. What's the uh bonus life or goes to the next oh. level? Really? Oh, you wanted that S too. Oh, you want the lasers. There you go. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, you got the C, which is the most useless one. What is it? It oh, just catches sticky, the ball. It's a sticky one. I mean, it's okay for repositioning it, but... Uh... Ah! <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the trackball, I have to say. Bad trackball, bad. <laughs> B is barrier, and it opens a side to the... Oh, B for ah! barrier. Um, there are some things that people may notice while playing. They see the lives down there. It's stuck at four. Those haven't been implemented yet. I mean, there are four lives, but it doesn't reduce the lives. So you have to mentally keep track of your lives. Um, so MK Smith first posted about this. Uh, Arkanoid, the era and time of the story is unknown. After the mothership Arkanoid was destroyed, a spacecraft Voss scrambled away from it, but only to be trapped in space, warped by someone. How to play? You control a paddle, the spacecraft Voss, at the bottom of the screen. Keep can continue reading there. You control a paddle, the spacecraft Voss, at the bottom of the screen, which you use to deflect an energy ball towards a row of bricks at the top of the screen, thus destroying them and eventually clearing the screen to progress to the next level. That is very um, optimistic. Um, 
Certain bricks, when destroyed, release power oh, capsules, which grant additional powers such as capturing the enemy ball, equipping your boss with a laser cannon, or opening a warp gate that allows you to, skip, to escape to the next level. The final 33rd stage is a confrontation. Come on, down you go. Ah, ah, it starts bad right cat. Away. Um, between the boss and the entity Doe. <laughs> dough. <laughs> to destroy the dough and return from distorted space, hit the dough yes. repeatedly with your oh. energy ball whilst avoiding the deadly projectiles he spits from his mouth. There you go. Uh, oh, just got it. Yeah, it's okay. I'll I don't like the trackball track because you kind of have to. You have to do two movements. Two movements. Yeah. I should do it fast, but then you don't have the control. That was pretty good up there. Crossbow 777. I own Revenge of the Doe for Revenge the PC of... back in the day. My mother loved it and played it all the time until she finally beat the game. I love oh, that. Wow. Yeah, there's yeah. 32 levels Ooh. in this. Yeah. A little bit of slowdown with the three balls on the trackball. A little ball. bit. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it. you have to pull quite a bit more with the trackball. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. Eee, big. Elongate. Oh, what is the D again? It's Triple miss all balls. the balls. Yeah, <laughs> miss all the balls. <laughs> yep, one left. Pretty much. As long as you get one I'm of them. I'm doing the this worst well is when you them. get all three and then you accidentally uh, miss all. Miss all of them, and you're like, oh. Because you're so distracted yeah, by them all. By three balls, and you don't know which one to go for. Ah! Come on, come on. Get it, get it, get it! Yeah, oh, um, once. I played this so much in my C64. Mm. It's such a good game. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, the angle was so steep. There was an excellent black and white oh. version of Arkanoid on the Mac back in the day. Yeah, it's fairly translatable to so many systems. Mm. Um... So, let's go to the driving controller next, which is a free spinning controller, so you can spin infinitely, which mm. might work well, I was thinking. As long as it doesn't buffer, like, off the screen, which I don't think it should, if it's made correctly. Okay, your turn first. Oh, we have to switch it over. Driving wheel. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Driving wheel. Is it? I'm thinking. Driving wheel. You don't have a wheel. You want a track ball? There you go. Okay. Start. There we go. Um. So what did you get to? Not very far. Oh, I just didn't bother with the explanation of the controls because it's oh, pretty okay. obvious. So. So three, 33 levels and a final dough level. E for enlarge. What oh. is going on with this thing? Come on. Is it moving at all? Uh, barely. Okay. Barely, barely, barely. It is barely. working, though. Kind of. Look, look how... <laughs> That's because it's the driving it's control. barely moving! <laughs> That's how the driving controller works. Oh, my works. God! <laughs> it doesn't have very high resolution. <laughs> but it's good for uh, small movements. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Thanks for laughing at me, by the way. <laughs> laughing at the situation, not you. <laughs> barely, laughing at the driving it barely controller. Barely moves. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Yeah. Yes, you need that. Yes, I agree. It's good you got the S. So this is the perfect setup for the driving controller. Oh my gosh. Motorize it. Yeah. Zzz, zzz. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Ah! <laughs> uh, L for laser, C for cat. Came over. Oh. I don't know. Try again. Was that like one light? No, did I die that many times? Oh, do it again. You sure? Did I die that many times? Yeah, I guess I, guess I did. So. Like you died right away. Yeah, instantaneously. Driving controller is better for course controls, controls like, like steering. steering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not good for. <laughs> it's not good. Like the trackball was so so, but uh, oh, Why you can't you even the get left? there. You can't even get there. Oh my goodness. B for brake. Open a warp gate and leave the level. S for slow. Oh, D for disruption. That's what the D is. Oh, it's rough. It is rough. So, the things he needs still still to do. 
Finalize the intro and outro animations in progress. Flying enemies. Yeah, there's no flying enemies. Because in the um, in the game, there's guys that get in your way. Yeah. That fly around. Yeah, you can you can try. It's it's quite. Uh, I'm sure you'll get the hang of it, but it's quite frustrating. This can't be our most recent ROM. The driving controller and TV were very fluid. This is not fluid. <laughs> well, this is like not very old. You it's, can see it's it's really stiff or something. I don't know. It's just slow. Ugh, this is terrible. <laughs> Isn't it oh. bad? It's so bad. Uh. Oh, it's so slow. <laughs> it's crazy. This is brutal. I would not say this is the ideal input. Uh-uh. I think you should just do a whole show one day on using the wrong inputs on games and seeing how how they uh, how it well, works out. They well, they don't just work automatically. That I know, I know. So you can't really do that. Yeah. But it would just be funny. You can use the rollerball like, um, as a joystick emulator. Like plug them all into the Quitari and see how uh, how how each player uh, fares <laughs> <laughs> depending on the game you're playing. Uh, yeah. It'd be funny. Unfair advantages. Oh, can you get him yeah, down? Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. No, he's not. He's stepping on things he's and cables. He's not. He is. Come here. And he's sniffing things. He's not sniffing things. <laughs> oh, the poor kitty gets <laughs> all the bad. hate. <sighs> oh, look at this little black and white face. <laughs> he's oh. so innocent. Mwah. He's the most innocent cat. I'm getting mm -hmm. used to it, but it's not good. <laughs> Like, you can move. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, you're going to bite me, are you? There does seem to be acceleration on it. Oh, but it's not good. It's not good. Oh, no, it's terrible. It's bad. It's bad times. So we're going to plug in the final one, <laughs> yep. which is Paddles, which I am very sure this is going to be the best version. Okay. Because this is what it's made for. Uh, in the original um, arcade, it's a spinner, which is basically Paddles. Um, so you want me to play first? Oh, he's so angry. Yeah, Look at that know. angry face. He's, he's full of angry, angry cat hate right now. He's like, I hate you guys. I try to do fun things and you guys <laughs> pick me up and cuddle me oh. and I hate it. Oh, he's so angry. So angry. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh my goodness. There we go. But you do have to find where it is. Like in the... Yeah. The coin-op has one of the heaviest spinners known to man. <laughs> it just... Yeah, that's what somebody was saying. They, they didn't like the spinner in the arcade. It's just too... Yet yeah, There's momentum with yes. it. It's so heavy. Yeah. Oh, ah. I tried to get it, but then... Too fast. Yep. How are you doing? He's angry. He's angry. He's like staring right at the camera, too. <laughs> He's saying help. Me. Yeah, he's saying help, help me with his me. eyes. There we go. See S the uh, did I get? Yeah. Also a shout out to Revenge for adding support for all these controllers to 7800 basic. Oh. It's really cool. Thank you so much, Revenge. Okay. He's done. You go bug your your brother. Hi, Tari. The S does wear off. But eventually. There we go. This is way, 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 way better. But you lose it after the uh, after the end of the level. There we go. S. That's what I need. Sticky? No. No, it's uh, slow. Ah, slow. C is, is nice. capture. Oh, I see. Capture. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That's what I want. Get them. Get all of them. I'll deal with this one down here. Get up back there. There we go. This is exactly how you want this level to happen. <laughs> I get the feeling the paddle controllers are winning this uh, competition. Oh, uh, by far. By far. <laughs> I would say joystick is second. Yeah, joystick is fine. It's totally fine. Because it's predictable. It is, and it's it's how it's, far it's, it's, it's going. Um, there's no like momentum or no. shift in speed by spinning, and it's pretty good. 
Oh, trackball wasn't bad. It trackball was, would probably come third. I, I would say trackball. It was fine, but yes. it, you had to kind of go swipe, swipe, or, you yeah. know, it, it required a little bit more. This one is well, look challenging. at that background. That Very is detailed. great. Oh, get out of there. Oh, hitting at the wrong angle. There, get up there. Yes. This doesn't help, does it? No, this does. L doesn't help on this level. Really? Oh, so you can't, you can't get the gold it. bricks at all? No, they're invincible. Oh, no, oh, no. no. Come back. Get back up there. This one is fairly challenging. It takes a while. You have to really hit the right angle. Yeah. There you go. This gives you a lot of practice on your, oh. on your angles. So I've noticed there's four platforms at the bottom, but they don't seem to reflect how many lives you have left. Yeah. So I'm guessing that's that just something that needed... Oh, you did. Yeah. Yeah, that's well, not done. why I was playing. It's not done yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's just like a constant thing there. Mm. Ugh. Yeah, paddles are the way to go. Mm, Defender 2600 did most of the background. That's really cool. Oh, well... That's awesome. Yeah, it looks. It reminds really me good. of old um, get up there. PC yes. uh, backgrounds. <laughs> oh, I don't. The repeating, the repeating oh, images. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> tiled, tiled, tiled old, tiled windows, old thing. windows backgrounds. Yeah, I like it though. Yep. Oh yes. Do it. Yes. Get yes. In there. Mm, oh. <laughs> get back up. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Back up. No. Go back up. No, no, no. At least it's slow. Oh. Oh, distracting. Comic Gamer gave us some... Uh... Cheers. Very Yay, tiny. thank you. Thank you so much. You got this. No, I don't. But maybe Tanya's got this. Well, we'll see. Probably not. There you go. But we'll try with the paddles. Oh, it's on arcade difficulty. Maybe we should... No, no, arcade's fine. Okay. I think it's fine. I <laughs> there's it a, too easy. There's a... Well, we should change it. No, 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 it's no. It's just number of lives. No, no. No? No. Okay. We're, t we're testing out the controller, so... Um, he has to finish the high score entry, uh, lives indicator, and fix the ball collision sounds. <laughs> um, and the brick animations. Uh, demo. This game is currently in beta, and the demo release contains... Well, that's old information. Oh my gosh, um, I find it so fast. For the thanks, uh, Mike Sarna for code, Bobby Clark for music and sound, Marco Sabetta for additional graphics. Hey, it's working for me. Stop pounding it's not on working it. working for me. Hold on, let me. No, no. <laughs> let me. It was just being funny. Okay, make sure you have it in the middle. In the middle before you press the yeah, button. Yeah, I think that's the problem. Because if you press the button and let it go and you're not ready, spin, spin till no, you get you it. No, you don't. You don't press go. the button to let it go. Well, you can. No, you can't. It automatically goes. I think you can I, release I, it early, there's, though. There's... Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm terrible with the paddle controller. It's not in the middle. That. Arcade plays better, but you do get an extra life. There we go. There we go. <sighs> yeah, it's very, very sensitive it's, compared to oh, other ones. Oh, so sensitive so you do have compared to, get to the other to ones. Uh, Robert Tosito and uh, uh, Steve Ramirez for testing. John Calcianso for box, cart, and poster design. Oh, those are already done. Well, Al Yoruso and CPU Wiz uh, at Atari Age. Um, so he posts on January 2nd. Hey, everyone. Well, another year has passed and Arkanoid is still a work in progress. I desperately want to finish it, but the ball movement still needs further work and it just does my head in at times. And I cannot get it a little better. <laughs> As noted previously, the enemies have been started and some basic movement has been added, but is yet to be fully flushed out or otherwise the game is pretty complete. Anyway, I thought it should release a new version, considering I've been sitting on this for quite a while. So a reminder that this was a full restart from the previous version. It contains whole new graphics engine and using the learning from Million Molly. It also now has an amazing number of controllers, such as paddles, driving wheel, trackball, joystick, and Amiga ST mouse. Thanks, Mike. Please note that this may not play well on PAL machine, as the ball speeds need some adjustments. Also, note the lives indicator is still not yet working. Apart from that, I've really enjoyed helping around the forums with various projects and playing with some little projects myself. But the best thing is seeing the amazing movement around 7800. We have great product in 7800 Basic to develop our games, plus now we have Concerto and Dragonfly carts available to the masses. 2020 brought us human malware of COVID, but it also gave us the ever-expanding community around this great machine. 
Looking forward to seeing what 2021 brings. Happy New Year to you all. And I have, I think, a link for tips and tricks and a walkthrough for this. I think one. I like the joystick better. Really? I don't like the paddle at all. It's way too sensitive for me. Could user selectable think, paddle sensitivity be added? That would be yeah, good. Because I find this way too sensitive, and I go I go way past the ball all the time. Whereas the joystick and the trackball were easier to use. Really? Yes, they were far less sensitive. I found the sensitivity really good to be I able hate, to narrow it I down. I hate the sensitivity of of the paddle. It's too much for me. I much prefer um, joystick? the joystick. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. But that's just what I'm used to. I mean, I, I'm right. not used to playing paddle games for the most part. It's true. We do use a joystick a lot. I never really played them, those types of games before. Like when I was young. Yeah. It's almost always with the joystick. So each of the bricks are worth different points. I like slow though. <laughs> so it goes from uh, white to yellow. They're all different colors. Silver and gold bricks cannot be destroyed with one hit. In fact, gold bricks cannot be destroyed at all. They are indestructible. Uh, silver bricks take mo more than one hit to destroy. In the beginning, they only require two. The number of hits it takes to remove them increases ev by one every eight stages. Oh my god. So they get really hard. Uh, Power-ups. We went through those. So the one, the P is an extra life. We haven't seen a P yet, I don't think. Have we? I don't know. Don't think so. Never went to ground control while in Portland. It was really good. Why? <laughs> so much fun. I mean, the first couple of years, we didn't go either. No, I'm surprised. And then, and then we, we went, we were like, oh my it. God, we're this like, is why, so good. Why don't we just go here all the time? Like, we were in Portland for another reason at one point. Yes, and, we were, yeah. And we were like, oh no, we have to go to ground control while we're there. So much fun. Yeah, you can... Um, here you go. Uh, because we didn't have transportation, you can jump on the public transit and get there, depending on where you are. Um, I'm gonna get five lives. Yeah, the music is weird. <laughs> uh -huh. But, yeah, there's mi missing, uh, missing notes. Mm. Missing sounds. That's because of the chip that you have in there is not quite working 100%? It's, or? it's, it could be the chip, it could be my 7800, it could be... Uh, the drivers that are right now that are not compatible perfectly with every single chip. Because I looked it up and there's like 10, 12 mm. different chips that, uh, different pokies, sorry. Uh, oh, I'm gonna shoot. So each one could be t slightly different how they work. So compatibility is not 100% right now. Oh, extra life. Oh, we got an extra life. Oh, it kills your lasers getting an extra life well, i guess that's fair oh now it's not slow anymore no i should have stuck with the lasers oh an e that'll help no i, I like paddles better um i'm used to the sensitivity of it it's very accurate but for somebody who's used to joystick like yourself it might be better to stick with the joystick which is great how they gave all the options can you read out to the, uh... No, I'm just reading what Frost was saying. He's just talking about uh, staying next to the convention center and not relying on transportation, which oh, is why I didn't great. get to yeah. ground control. But actually, the um, the rail line... I forget what you call it. It's not very, a subway, but the... The, the it? light the, rail? The light rail um, gets you into the Above into ground. downtown pretty easily. Yeah, it does. From where the convention center because is. Because it's right next to it. Yeah. Lots to do in Portland. Does the joystick gameplay support pressing the button for either faster movement or slow detailed movement? I don't uh, think so. Not, not on in the, this game. Not the paddle doesn't. No. Um, I, don't I don't think the joystick did either. No, it's only for lasers at the moment, mm. I think. But that would be a good option. But then it would interfere with the lasers. Because you wouldn't be able to do fine movement and shoot mm -hmm. the lasers at the same time. Esther Marriott stayed at the Marriott. I think we stayed at the Marriott when we were there. Oh, Did we stay at the Marriott? Oh, we've stayed at so many different We've stayed at a bunch of different ones. Yeah. Trek MD was there as as well. The OG programmers. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> we 
One day we'll all get there again. One day. Ugh. Hopefully, well, it's not going to be this year, I don't think. No, I, I, I would the really planning? like, there's one in Austin too, right? I'd really yes. like to go to uh, Austin uh, so at some point. I've never yeah, been there, so that I. would be a really good excuse. Yeah. Use the ProLine Joysticks 2 buttons. Mm. Uh, no. <laughs> well, yeah, you could, but then it would leave out people who are not using joysticks for mm. it. But. And the, uh, the trackball has two, two buttons, too. Yeah, it does, yeah. Two yeah, active. Yeah. Do, do both buttons work on the 7800 for the trackball? Or are they just the same button? Does anybody know that? Mm. MK Smith, I'd love to go to PRG one day. I would love to go to Australia one day. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, here's a question for, for people houses. outside of North America. I mean, we're, we're well aware of, of conventions that happen within North America. Yeah. Are there some good ones in your respective, you know, countries? Like in Australia or in Europe, are there some oh, really good I'm sure um, there's some European conventions? Ones. I'm sure there's some good European ones. Is there much in Australia? Because uh, Europe had a huge um, Sega following and microcomputer, mm. microcomputers, but they would be different. They would focus on different things, I would Ooh. think, in Europe. God damn it! Yeah. They would have C sixty four, big C sixty four. MK ones. Smith, no, not much here like that. That's a shame. Yeah. That would be my excuse to go. To, well, I don't need an excuse to go go to Australia, no. but um, it would be quite expensive to go. So <laughs> you you have Might to you well have to find it. the right timing. Um, yeah, come on. Uh, crossbow seven seven. We love going to PRG, but the last one we went to in twenty nineteen cost us just south of two grand two grand to attend. Yeah, yeah. It's it's we're lucky in that PRG is a drive away for for us. So yeah. it's just the um I this, mean the hotels are really expensive. Oh, let's get out of this one. Yeah, they are because they're convention hotels. Yeah, convention prices and that's always really rough. If you there are some ah, cheaper hotels, they're not necessarily the nicest, but um Yeah. Uh but if you're flying God, especially or if you're it. bringing things with you, yeah, it's going to cost a fair a fair chunk yeah. of money. Ooh, Captain Classic Poland gets the Atari 800 8-bit convention. Ah. That's cool. Yeah. Damn it. Oh no, my dead. And case with some smaller dead. user groups at best. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, we actually thought the hotel pricing wasn't that bad. It was the plane fare that was nearly three quarters of the cost. Yeah. Oh yeah. Flights are always the biggest problem. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you want to play one more with the joystick? While I read out, because you haven't been reading yep. anything out. Yep. Sorry. I'm. I well, no. I've been reading what people are saying in the chat so that's important that's yeah. more important i and talking about portland because we're all just reminiscing and very excited about remember one day people. remember going to conventions and events people and events i remember that <laughs> do, do the paddles seem a bit quick in practice not for me a touch quick like i just... find them a, i find them a touch quick for me but i'm not a big paddle fan i would say so tiny bit quick I, if you yeah. slow down just a tiny bit they would be really good mm. i would say if you could add an option to really slow them down for people who like they are very fast so and there's lots of room too mm. in the paddle like there's so much like you're using this much of the throw of that so there's tons of room yeah there is yeah um so you could p slow them down by like have an option for bit. half speed yeah i think mm -hmm. and that would be more Comfortable for you, I think. Joystick. Yep. Novice. Oh, were we playing at Novice? No, but you can play Novice and get five flies. Okay. Might as well. Just to get you a little bit further. I didn't we get have much further. Atariadas in Chile. Self-organized by local communities. Oh. That sounds cool. That, that's a good excuse so have to, to go to Chile. People's houses? You get to... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Self-organized? No, it just... Probably not as formal, but that's very, very cool. Get that! What was oh, it's oh. an extra life. Oh. Ah. Oh, I, I, I don't always get them if I don't know what they are. True. Obviously, that was a poor Memorize choice. It. Uh, so, where are the tips and tricks? So this game was put out for the Amstrad CPC, Apple II, Apple II GS, Atari 800 line, Atari ST, Commodore 64, Commodore Amiga, Macintosh, MS-DOS, MSX, NES, 
Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Actually, on the NES, this came with a controller. That's why it's not working. A paddle controller. Remember, uh, I found that at uh, a local convention, the paddle controller for the NES. Um, shoot the gray ones if you can. Oh no, you lost it. It's not worth it. You could have finished the level mm. with the laser. It's okay. Um, yeah, this game on the NES came with a paddle. And oh. I think it's the only game... That came with a device? That uses the paddle on the oh. NES. Oh, paddle. Like, I'm falling off my uh, pillow here. Zincl uh, Sinclair ZX Spectrum and TRS-80 Color Computer. And I think these are, like, official releases. Mm. I nice. put this on my Dragonfly. It was quite some time back when I played it last. Yeah, I can't wait for the Dragonfly. Because then all the uh, audio issues will clear up. That'll be so much better! At least until the Concerto cart um, has a new firmware update. And then I'm sure so many issues will clear up. Because uh, I'm sure he's been working on it for a while. This is still on my Mateos. All these old 7800 multi-carts. It was a fight between too much polling time and trying to get everything rendering. I want to try on the real thing, but my concerto's not playing well currently. Mm. Yeah, it's it's the concerto's a roll of the dice right now. Depending on your system, your pokey chip, if you've made mods as well, maybe even, right? Uh Developed and published by Taito. Taito. Taito? Oh Taito. my god. Taito. 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 I Corporation in 1988. Uses, utilizes the enhanced hardware of the GS to pursue GS. Oh, I'm reading the Apple version. <laughs> Game of Arkanoid is divided into 33 stages. The first 32 are composed of various layouts of bricks. And they've got a screenshot of all the layouts here. 33rd stage is con confrontation between the boss and the physical manifestation of the enemy known as Doe. Resembles a large head of a Maui statue from Easter Island. Extra lives are typically awarded at 20,000 and again at 60,000. 20,000? That's really low. Because you already have 20,000. And then 60,000 every, every 60,000 afterwards. The arcade game permits players to continue from the most recent stage after their game has ended if more credits are entered. Um, that's a good question. Are you going to allow people to continue on this game? Or is it like, you get five lives, that's it. You have to struggle. It's old school hard. No more extra quarters <laughs> no, in the home version. I should have sent you a bill with the dough level straight up. Marco did an awesome job on the head. I could add that. You can send it right now. Uh, if you uh, PM me on the Atari on the Atari Age forums, I can uh, load it up. If you have that build, and we can take a look at the dough. He says, okay. <laughs> So we can see the... Because we'll never Yay. make it there, that's for sure. How many levels to the dough? 33. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, well, you're getting there. <laughs> now for the hard level. Yeah. I'll keep, just, uh... You have to see the dough. Yeah, I want to see the dough. I want to uh, see the dough, too. So if you could just message in the chat when you've sent it. Um, and then we will load it up. And this is amazing. Oh, this it's just, beautiful. Just like the arcade. Yeah, beautiful. And all the other home home versions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 7800 has a really uh, great ability to uh, reproduce very good graphics. So we're still at 649 Twitch okay. followers. 649. Yeah, nobody looking for the 650th. Yeah, everybody everybody already follows. That's watching. <laughs> <laughs> True. Get them! Get them all! Get them all! Yeah. You seem to be there we go gr33ng14n7 followed somebody just make that up <laughs> <laughs> maybe <laughs> doesn't matter yep uh it should switch over uh, as soon as it pulls again thank you so much for following Yay. and putting us over <laughs> yep awesome how often it updates but we'll see <laughs> Hasn't updated yet. Definitely registered. <laughs> oh, I will allow that. Sorry. Oh, you messed me up. Sorry. 
There you go. It, it held ho, ho, ho. ho. Nice. Apparently, ho is a not a not a good term. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, oh. Not even in triplicate like Santa Claus. Six fifty for Atari. 78 Excellent. color palette is amazing. Yeah, 256 colors. Oh. 16 colors and 16 hues. Lots of 7800 shows recently. Sarah Page Homebrew, when are the 800 XEGS shows coming? Yeah. I don't know. There's lots to catch up there. on. Yeah, get when up I, there. When Mitchell. I run out of new, uh, new 2600 and 7800 games. Yeah, there's um, lots of them out there. Yeah, there are. Links first. I don't have a links. I'm sorry. <laughs> but there will be no links games. Oh. Unless we uh, do it all by emulator. There's lots of really good links games, but um, they'd all have to be emulated. And I'm not really keen on just showing emulated games on the show. It kind of defeats the purpose. Oh, I need to get one. Feel free to send me a links. <laughs> <laughs> They're not cheap. James. Um, and I've looked at. Uh, upgrading my XEGS to RGB and there's not a lot of room inside the XEGS to add on things. Oh, get that. Sorry. Missed you. Or get one of, thing, one of the things. Terrible. Did he send it? No, maybe. Oh, oh, my sub. Oh, those aren't subs. Those are followers. They're permanent. Why isn't it working? No. It's not working. Did it's you not send updating? it? updating? No, it's not, even though somebody... Uh, hmm. He definitely did, yeah. Unless someone Sunday. pulled out right at the same time, which I doubt it. Oh, arcade dough. So, good timing. Okay. Good time. Terrible Arkanoid player, but I do prefer <laughs> the joystick. I have yeah. to say, the joystick wins for me. You were doing much better with the paddles. I feel oh, yeah. so sensitive. I'm not too keen on that. Mm. So what are they saying? Nothing in the chat? James needs to get one and then send it to me to McWillet and add the VGA so he can vid capture it. I don't know what McWillet means. McWillet? But yeah. How did he spell it? McWillet? McWill? McWillet? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. <laughs> and then everyone's saying, yes, he does. Exactly. And I no idea. No idea. <laughs> well, he, uh, Crossbow does upgrades. So. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay. Uh, Arcanoid. Very nice. Save it there. Nick will LCD upgrade for the links. Um, oh, okay. see, I don't know much about the links. That's why. Yeah. That didn't make any sense to me. Mm. Okay. So we'll put this in the root directory. And it's copied. Reject it. And boot back up. Unfortunately, we... Oh, we do have the joysticks plugged in. Perfect. Mm. So I'll let you play that. Mm. I used Revenge. to play Revenge of the Doe a lot on my Tandy. Hey, mm. load it up. Hey. Get on it. Oh. <laughs> You tell me when it's you tell me when it's ready to go. It's ready. Arcanoid, uh, this bottom. One? bottom? Right at the bottom. Yep. Okay. So we'll be able to skip right to the end boss now. Uh, after successfully clearing 32 stages, you will have the opportunity to use your remaining lives. Uh, oh. Battles. Oh, this is behaving way better. What is? On the last version. Yeah. All the the text was like glitching out. Yeah, it was glitching a bit. And this is solid. Yeah. Okay, it's ready. So this is just the dough level? Oh, there's no sound on this. That's okay. It's okay. Because it's a concerto. I don't see any glitches at all. Oh, God. How about that? <laughs> uh, yeah. Ah, my no try, try rebooting it one more time, maybe, and we'll see if that works. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Almost made it. Oh, oh, it goes back. Okay. Uh, try it again. I don't know. I spoke too, too soon. soon. <laughs> yeah, it glitched out. No, this now is not working. Now it's glitched out again. Oh yeah. no. Yeah, I talked. 
if if I say, oh, it's working great, it looks awesome. Yeah, no, nope. no, that's exactly it. You're so, jinxing yourself. Oh, damn it. No, nothing. MK Smith, no feedback. He's typing. Uh, we're gonna have to go on to the next game. But if you have a solution, sorry, everyone. <laughs> Do perfect. <laughs> There's perfect. We'll go on to the next game. It's okay. Um, and maybe MK Smith will think of something. Oh, game over. <laughs> it, it it's just yeah, it's not. Quite it's there. working. Yeah. But the display is not working. Mm. Right. So that's fine. We will get back to that another day. Um, probably when. Oh, there's the there's the, the thanks right there. Didn't have to say them out. Many thanks to Atari Age. Uh, so we're going to go into the next game, which is a shooter, a two-player shooter. So just in time, we have this great <laughs> two-player. Uh, joystick, joystick here. Yeah. Dragon's Havoc by Todd Fermansky, uh, mm -hmm. known as Revan Tooley. This mm -hmm. is his third in a uh, trilogy of dragon games. Nice. If you remember the other ones, one was going through the maze uh, as a dragon mm -hmm. and collecting things and getting to the exit. Uh, that was uh, Dragon's Cash. He's actually made four games. <laughs> so it's more than a trilogy now. Mm -hmm. uh, Dragon's Dis... Uh, Dragon's Descent, that's what that one was. Dragon's Cash, which is the matching game. You know that one. Mm. Drops down, matches. Uh, Dragon's Racer, which was on the 2600, so he may not be considering that part of his 7800 trilogy. You remember that one? You're When you're two dragons racing around uh, laps. Mm, mm -hmm. Yep. And you can't touch the walls, yep. but you can bounce into each other. Yep. Yep. Uh, and this one is uh, Dragon's Cash. No, Dragon's Havoc, which is a shooter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tap a dragon. <laughs> Tap a dragon. Smack smack smack. The cat name started with the Lynx, I believe. Before that, there's Stella, Pam. Not sure if the 7800 had an internal name. Oh, mm. yeah. Okay, load it up. Uh, this is uh, first was put out May 19th, 2020. This build is from February 16th, so only a week old, 2021. Ah, Not froggy. Nope. Uh, it's a 48K game. Uh, nice. It does sound off. What, this music? That's well, because he's using the TIA. <laughs> And that's the way the TIA sounds. Oh, it, it's not your chip then? No. Uh -huh. It's not using Pokey. Pokey sounds. Uh, he says, that's right. As I finished Dragon's Descent and Dragon's Cash, I figured why not make them as part of a loosely connected trilogy. Thematic trilogy of games. Here's a build. This is just the test tech at this point as is, but I'm curious to see how it runs on different machines. Mm. Press the joystick button to transition from the parallax to the tile level. This is an old build. This is the newer one. Okay. So jump into it. Shoot things. More to it, but just shoot things. And don't get hit by them. Some of them do shoot, and they can run into you as well. Chris is on the Jaguar we call Tom and Jerry. <laughs> oh, good night, S. Ramirez. Thanks for hanging out. So, uh, December 31st post, uh, here's a demo for you to try out. The game ends at stage 1-3. That was the first real release one, one. of it. Yeah, this is 1-1. One, one. Ah, 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 ah. Oh. That wasn't good. No, avoid the bullets. There you go. Sometimes it's like one shot, sometimes it's a whole bunch of them. Well, it resets. Oh. There's only one bullet on the screen at a time. I know, I hate that. <laughs> I yeah. know. I, I, I get it, but I still gaming. don't like it. <laughs> it rules, is old school. Rules are simple. Very. Rules are simple. The more you hit with your fire breath, the faster you and your shots move. Mm -hmm. If you miss or lose a life, you slow back down. So there's a buildup of power. <laughs> so it's more about accuracy in this game. It is about accuracy. I can see that. Ah. So you don't want to uh, miss. Which is a very interesting concept. I've, I'm sure there's games out there like that, but I have not played them myself. Your last shot missed. It's hard not to because you want to shoot as much as it resets. Or it goes down, actually, if you miss. It doesn't go to zero. 
Um, oh. oh, you made it to one, one, two. One, two. There's still plenty for me to do in terms, even in terms of a demo. A lot of the graphics, music, and sounds are still stand-ins. Folks, folks may recognize sprites from my previous games, like at the top there. That's from uh, Dragon's Descent. That... You can go forward and back. Sorry, just saying that oh, that actually okay. does help a fair amount to dodge. Mm. Another update before I have to shift focus. This is for this build. Uh, I made a rage mechanic a little bit more forgiving. I have the <sighs> cooldown rate when you miss, which allows a little more re recklessness, but still rewards somebody for being cautious. Ooh, you can continue. Ah, oh, oh. so we might be able to see all three levels. Yeah, that's good. Because uh, I'm not the greatest. Carl G but... says, I love the background. Yeah, it's yes, really great. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Reminds me of the um, that kind of paddle game. Oh, what was it that we played? That was in. Uh, that was nominated. What a funny name. But it had a, a scrolling background as well. Looks good. Reminds me of Moon Patrol a bit. It does. <laughs> this reminds you of Moon Patrol. What aspect of it? Scrolling, I guess. Uh, I'm also playing with a few new, few, few new music tracks, swapping out some of my older ones from use previous games. Oh, I ran into the wall. Mm, oh, don't run into walls. So Revan Tooley is in the chat if you have any questions for him. Nice. Oh, I wonder how many continues there are. I don't know. Hopefully it's infinite so we can see all three levels. Four times for those guys. Oh, all gone. <laughs> Ah, oh, they move fast. Yeah, Gradius or Salamander Life Force. This one, yeah, going through underground, flying, that kind of stuff. Continues just start at the beginning of the, the level and set score to zero. Well, that's very fair mm -hmm. for a continue. Oh, you missed it. Oh, very nice. Because the wall acted as a block. These cautious. guys are awful, though. You need, kind of need one to get one to get through them. There you go, nice and fast. It's cute. So look at look at how he glides. He'll glide. He'll glide. He'll glide. Oh, his movement. Like when he turns. Like, like up, I'm going oh, up. Oh, that's so Isn't good. Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful. What does it look like really, when he goes down? Really, really nice. Zillia, dragon of venom. Is nice. this a boss? Oh, thank you, Nathan Strum, for resubscribing. Oh, we made it to 650. It finally updated. Yay! 650 followers. Oh, demo over. Can restart? Does it continue? Ooh, hopefully. Yeah. Boss time. Oh, the problem is you're so slow, right? Oh, is there any... Oh, there is build-up. Okay, so you can build up by shooting the small guys mm. and not missing. And then go after the big guy, but you can't miss. So then it goes to zero. I don't, it's a... Ah. Oh, what she said. The background is a bit much here. Eh, well, it, it's a It boss. is a bit much. I agree. I agree. It's... It is a little psychedelic. I do feel <laughs> like I'm taking some... Ooh, you're at full power. Don't miss. Don't miss. Nice. Oh. oh, great explosions. That's nice. awesome. Nice. No, did I die? Demo over? No, is that it's, the end? it's only three levels. Ah, very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, I want to... Oh, what happens if you continue? Probably the same mm. level. Oh, now we have to play two players. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, go back. Okay. Now we're playing two players. Uh, do we share a power-up? I wonder how this works. What? You started with full power? How is that fair? Oh. What the hell? Sounds fair to me. I don't know. I'm like slows molasses on you. Full power. Can I get some power? Stop shooting him. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Take the... There we go. And now I'm fast. Okay, you take the bottom. Oh, it. Wasted it all. 
Turned off the They're music so we can hear so the so beautiful. They're so beautiful. Yeah, the graphics are great. Oh, damn it. So how does getting shot work? Does your energy protect you? I don't know. Oh, damn it. Oh, I got it. Perfect. Yeah, your power's pretty high. You turn into a fireball. I know. It's so cute. I love the power mechanic. It's so different. So, Revan Tooley, how does the hit points work? Yeah, I don't quite get it because there's no... Oh, damn it. I missed right away. Oh, I missed again. Oh, the so Moon Patrol, pretty. I see what you mean, because there is land kind of at the bottom. Because mm. I wasn't looking at it when you made that comment. Arrows on the top are your rage. <laughs> rage reset. It doesn't seem to give you more firepower when you have full rage. Mm. It gives you more movement, because it still takes the same number of hits. Oh, speed, yeah. Oh, I went to nothing because you killed him. Oh, I'm so slow. I'm going to die. Can I hurt you? I don't know. I hope not. Does it look like I hit you? I'm not sure. Ow. Yeah, it did go down when I got hit. So it also acts as your health? Which is... Why is I not shooting? Oh, I'm dead. Interesting. So I don't respawn. Is there friendly fire to worry about? Uh, we haven't quite figured know. that out. <laughs> it kind of seemed like it because I mm. thought I shot and I hit you because you flashed, but no. I'm not sure. No friendly fire should. Okay, good. Okay. No, Do I... it's too. Uh, you might come back. No. Nope. Oh, I'm so well, slow. When you're dead, you're dead. Oh, I'm so slow. I can't miss. I can't continue either, which is a shame. That's okay. Oh, it makes sense in two player. Yeah, I guess so. So slow. Need to hit. Oh. Oh, maybe we can continue now. Mm. Come on. Yep. Two player continue. Nice. Take him out. <laughs> I can't seem to build up any power. Oh, and I'm dead. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, no. Yeah, purple is uh, a bit much. Ah. Too much. Too much on screen. Yep. Oh, I keep getting hit. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> So slow now. No, no rage. <laughs> no rage power. Oh. Oh, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Random terrain. You definitely complain about the screen. What is he not like the flashing? Doesn't like flashing. Okay, I'm gonna try and build up my power. You can build up Just your power really by hitting slowly. him too, though. You do. Oh, can you? Yes. Okay, that's going to be the you might fastest as well just, way. Just shoot him. Although I just keep getting... Yeah! Oh. Woo! Oh, wow. Yay! Get up in his face! <laughs> yes. Yeah! You just discovered that. I didn't discover it. I was doing it the whole time. You, oh. were, you were floating around here. I'm I was like, no, to, kill him! Because I was trying to build up power. I know, but you can build it up by, by killing the little guys. By killing, by killing the guy. Get up. 
Boss BG is an ongoing experiment. It's tricky balance. Slower yeah. cycling loses the persistence of motion. I may try a different approach. It's really, really good. And mm -hmm. I love the mechanic of being able to build up your shields and, yeah. your, and your speed. Your power builds up with, with your um, how effective you are at hitting I, things. I think even half it again, because you lose it so easy. I don't know. What do you think? You think it's at a good level or? For the building up the... Yeah. I mean... Uh, I seem to lose it really quick because <laughs> you you miss like two times and it's down to zero again and you're slow and I almost wish it would flip back and forth more because it's like six to build it up fully it would yeah. almost be nice nice if it was three so it was like you get a couple of good ones then suddenly you're full power and then it oh. drops down really quickly too like I almost wish I, well, you could of... get get it back up there a little faster oh but... back up faster yeah because it also it and almost down like it can go both ways but I don't know I it feels fairly balanced though I I yeah. don't know it, it it's I don't well, I've know. only played I don't it. know I don't know I've only played it with I think you need with you so yeah let me try it on my own try it on your own bye bye Oh yeah, so good. So much easier on your own, which is very strange. Because I'm able to not be distracted. I'm able to build it up really fast. Oh, damn it. You get hit, it goes to zero. Oh. That's what's going on. So it's like a one extra defense. Ah, oh, too many. Ooh, I don't know how I avoided that. And it's zero. <laughs> it's so easy to lose it. Oh, wow, I just went through that. It's these guys that makes it easy to build up. Because they're not moving very far. Oh, my God. I definitely want to try out the two-player mode. There's not, a, not good enough. Not enough two players. Yeah. Two player games are awesome. The first round of guys is like. You have to be so careful with your last shot that you don't miss. And these guys are just like a recipe for losing your power because they're moving around so much. Where is he? Oh, man, I miss. Oh, slow again. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, you build it up, and then you miss twice, and it's over. Mm -hmm. And you're down to, like, death. Oh. <laughs> the dragons are so cute. I agree, Miss. Yeah, they're really good. Like, I, I love this. I love... I love the, the kind of darker halo around them and how they almost look like they're shimmering yeah. based on the colors. Like whoever designed colors. them, beautiful. I think they're beautiful. And like, yeah, and that, that flickering, that kind of fiery look they have. I love I love that look uh, of the darker um, the outlines outlines yeah. to them. It's like um, it gives like them a really neat effect. Like that C does with his graphics when yeah. he outlines everything. But just the fact that like the way he kind of floats up and down when you're going up and down the screen, it's oh, yeah. really nice. Really, it's really good. Really well done. Lots of frames of animation. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, Revan Tully says, with two players, you have to share shots in terms of targets to build up rage, but enemies split their fire. Oh. Yeah, because they're not just shooting at one person. Yeah, so you there's an advantage there. Yeah. Oh. One shot missed, and you're like, Bleh, molasses. No, but that's good. I like that. It means you really have to think about your shots. It's just too sweet to lose it. I know you do have to think about your shots. Oh, it's awesome. It's it's such a fine balance. It's like an RPG. But you can build it back up fast too. So I don't know. It's hard to say. Yeah, I'm just being frustrated. I love shmups, but 
most don't really have a reason to not shoot, so you just put a piece of tape That's over the tr- fire button. <laughs> That's and true. It's true. It's true. You just need rapid fire, and then, and then that's it. Yeah. So he's kind of solved that. Yeah, I like it. So this is a like an accuracy yeah. type Reven game. Tooley, you might have an older build. The newest one goes from full to zero in four misses. Oh, this is... Well, I, I don't, don't know. know. I'll try four it out Four misses after. might be... Might be... Might be accurate. It shows seven. Well, that's one. One and you lost two. Yeah, I think it is. One, one and you lose two. Yeah, that's <sighs> that sounds about right. <laughs> you have to know what these guys take. They take two shots. They take two. The other ones take four. These this take is one. one. Yeah. So you have to memorize enemies almost. Yeah. It's like a strategy shooter. I don't know how you else you term it. Yeah, this is the new one. You just have itchy fire breath. <laughs> itchy. Ah! Damn it! Just two. One, two. One, two. Yeah, I'm just I'm just overzealous because I'm so used to shooters. Mm. Just shoot, 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 shoot. Can't get that one. Ah, 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 ah! It's too many bullets. Too many bullets. Mm-hmm. Oh. I love I love the backgrounds, the little kind of oh, God damn it. bull or horn faces in there and Oh yeah, they're Oh it's so everything's good. Everything's great. Okay, I've got a bit of power. <laughs> and again, lovely, lovely fonts. Oh, did I lose it all? No. And demo over. <laughs> I find I'd instinctu- instinctively move close, moving close to enemies to avoid long shots, but that's its own set of risks. Yeah, because you kind of feel like by being close, you're, you're less likely to miss them. Yeah. So you kind of move in close so that you can hit them reliably, but then they, if, like this dude who's shooting constantly, the risk is really high that you'll you'll accidentally get hit. So. Oh. The uh, hitbox around the bullet seems very small. I mm. swear I get hit. Maybe I am getting hit and it's just not reacting, but I swear I'm getting hit but not taking damage for it. Mm. I'm just getting in the way now because I want to hit the boss. Um, does the boss start flashing when he's damaged? Or is it just like you just keep hitting? There's the a boss that has no indicator. Oh, good. He just flashes when he's dead. I think. Goes pink, flashy pink. Oh, like that. just made it. Just as, just at the end. Hooray! Woo-hoo! We both won. Great! It looks it looks really really good. Everything's really, really great enjoyable about it. Play. Yeah. And shooters yeah. are. Thank you, Revan Tuli. That's one, one of my favorite genres. So yeah. I'm really happy about seeing he's, a, a he's shooter on this. He's all for that. Yeah. And this one is not. A normal shooter. No, it's, it's got a little think. bit more. Yeah. You have to be slow. You have to be deliberate. You have to know your enemies. Yeah. Hitbox. Hitbox yeah. Is generous. Very generous. Which that's fine. Fine with me. You know. That's cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, really great. So the last game we're gonna be playing is Froggy. Yeah, Froggy. And I have it on cartridge. Mm. Real cartridge. So this was put out. Um, even though it says 2016. My research said this wasn't put out till 2018. Oh, so in I, stores kind of thing? In the Atari H store. Oh. So I think they printed the box up and it wasn't done, it wasn't done, it wasn't done. Mm. And then they released it and then the, the boxes are just, you know, you can't change the date on a box once it's printed. So I think I got this in 2018 at PRGE. Mm-hmm. Because I don't have any record of ordering it uh, over the internet. And of course, this is Frogger. Um, A port of Frogger for the 7800. Froggy Arcade Game Series by Matthias Lutke. Labor Art by Melvin 
Ludke, something like that. There you go. Very nice, little frog. I think it was released at 2019 PRGE, maybe. I, um, my research says 2018 November. Okay. Um, for the Pokey Optional, or you send in the Pokey chip. And then 2019, he uh, gave the option for Pokey One chips. Mm. Um, so we actually have it on cartridge. I'm pretty sure this is the Pokey version because I would not order a game without the full version. The full version. Like this has yeah. a TIA version as well. Nice. Um, so let's plug this in. Thank you, Revan Tooley. Yes. For letting us so play much. your game. And thank you for being here. Really in the chat. cute. Really, really fun. Oh, there's supposed to be a ribbit there, but uh, I missed it. Hmm? On the screen. I don't know if we can breathe. Let's start it up again. Let's see if we can catch the ribbit. Uh, it has to readjust and go, oh, what resolution am I? Mm. Yeah, it's missed it. It's annoying. So mm. annoying. It's not like a CRT where it's like, just give me anything and I'll show it on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> Good like or bad. The, the frame meister so and my LCD screen has to go, oh, what, is, what, what resolution? What input is this? Let me look at the numbers yeah. for a second. Yeah. So annoying. But that's what happens. Look at those frog legs. Oh, Aww. cute. Um, so this was in the works since 2005. This game was started in 2005. Mm. Um, and this is the 2018. Maybe I messed that up. Maybe it was, yeah, 2018 version. It's already going. Oh. That sounds like TIA. That sounds like TIA to me. I'm not sure. Oh, no. oh. It's, it sounds good, but then there's a couple notes off. Yeah, it sounds like TIA. Why did I get TIA? Probably because there was no pokies. Maybe. Which, you know, they're expensive to get. <laughs> I am very certain my Crystal Quest is a pokey chip version, though. That's fine, we'll deal with the TIA version. That's very loud. Very loud everywhere. Sorry, peoples. There we go. Uh, other games by uh, Schmutz Puppy, uh, Flappy Bird for the 7800, Froggy, and Santa Simon. Remember that game where you had two, you did really well, and you got like 14, matching up the up, down, left, right? the noises of the reindeer and the Santa. Oh, nice. So he made that as well. So you can download this in the Atari Age forum and at the Atari Age store. Otherwise, we're going to run out of pokies. Yeah. So you can buy this now with uh, a Pokey One chip, which is a Pokey replacement in the Atari Age store. Uh, so on May 3rd, 2005, he says, well, here is a first demo of Frogger. Only one level, no scoring, no timer, no sound, some elements that are still missing, but it's playable. So this was first demoed at PRG 2013, uh, and the first uh, first release in the Atari Age Store in 2018, November 2018, with the Pokey Chip, or you supply a Pokey Chip. Um, I wonder if I open this up, I can put a Pokey in it. Of course, it has a label where it has the screw under the label, which makes me crazy. Why would you make it like that? I can see why retail things back in the day would do that. It's like, why are you opening up your cartridge? You don't need to open up your cartridge. And then re-released with the Pokey One chip on October 2019. Um, so obviously this is the non-Pokey version with the TIA, which is fine. It did a pretty good job with the music. What? Oh, what? I thought I was on You there. slipped off it. No, like no. you stayed still and the turtles kept going. That was very interesting. Yeah, that was a little strange. I think it was you hopped too late on them. And, I think I did. I it, think I and did. And it's just like, oh, you missed the turtles. You're yeah. sinking in the water, so we're not going to show you moving with it. 
Oh, yeah. I did it. I'm no, I'm being I'm just being very sloppy, I think. It is very good for TIA. That's for sure. There's only a couple notes that are a little wonky, a little bit out. So Frogger uh, is a 1981 arcade game developed by Konami, originally published by Sega. In North America, it was published jointly by Sega and Gremlin Industries. Never heard of them. Uh, the object of the game is to direct frogs to their homes, one by one, by crossing a busy road and navigating a river full of hazards. Frogger was positively received as one of the greatest video games ever made, and followed by several clones and sequels. By 2005, Frogger, in various home video incarnation, has sold 20 million copies worldwide, including 5 million in the United States. The game found its way into popular culture, including television and music. So hopefully we don't get a YouTube <laughs> copy... Moving too fast. A YouTube <sighs> copyright strike on this, because there are several songs in this game that are commercially used songs oh. in Japan. Oh, really? And they had to remove some of these songs from versions of Frogger because they couldn't oh. get the license to, for to the music for cheap enough. Weird. Doesn't the rival frog kill you? Apparently not. No. I purposely... It's your friend. It is your frog mate. I thought, cause it, I thought you got extra points for getting the you frogs. Yeah, yeah it's, your, okay. it's your frog mate. That's what I wanted to and, be sure. And you take... Did you are you going to read things? No, I can, I can play. Okay. Because <laughs> you just take this and you just stare at the screen. Well, I like what? No, I, I don't stare at the screen. I read the chat, so. Okay. Don't, don't say that. That's not true. I'm amazed that the two channel TIA music also has game sound effects at the same time. I don't think any other TIA games do this. Very few have shared TIA time slicing. Do you get something for that little thing? Yeah. Uh, you want the lucky. flies. If you're lucky. Yeah. I mean, you it's, could have it's all, over. it's all, t no, I have to. You could have hopped over on the log of it and then went for Oh, that's it. true. That's true. You do have to be careful in hopping around logs and No, because you can fall off. Yeah, flies are at the top, but there are also crocodiles too. Yes, I've noticed so that. You want to miss the crocodiles yeah. uh, when they appear along the top. Um, Frogger uses a bunch of borrowed music from various Japanese TV shows. Uh, the song that everybody associates with Frogger, the opening music, is a Japanese song called Inu no Oma Warasan, the dog policeman, and uh, was a kid's, uh, kid's music, kid's song, song for kids. Um, this one. Is it this one? No. Very iconic. Um, then the opening, scene, opening theme from an anime called Rascal the Raccoon. Uh, uh, Roku Riba'i uh, to Rock River was used as the main gameplay theme for the 1981 game Frogger. So there's a bunch of borrowed music. So apparently there's a fast mode for this game. Oh, oh you just caught it. Just caught the tip of it. And there is a setting. Looks like we're already on that setting where we can get five frogs. So that's good. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought it caught you. me. If the Atari 2600 Supercharger Frogger has two-channel music like this, it would be perfecto. Yeah, somebody could... Uh... Oh, it's gonna go, go! Oh, oh. no, I didn't oh, notice. disappearing. Mm. The turtles went underwater. I know, I didn't realize it was a disappearing one. Because you know frogs can't swim. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. They're perfectly fine on hot, hot tarmac. <laughs> That's right. But swimming, no. Water? Absolutely not. Where turtles can survive? I yeah. could see if it was like poisonous water or something. Yeah. Where there weren't turtles and alligators, but the logic of this <sighs> is uh, not quite holding completely. I'm sure a million people have said that <laughs> over and over again. Oh, yes. So let's take a look at the manual. Let's see what it says. It says printed in the U.S. Getting started. Plug in your joystick. No. Cars and trucks, cross the road and try to get through traffic to reach the sidewalk. Be careful, your, your frog will be squished if it touches any of the vehicles. Sidewalk. This is a safe area as long as you don't get caught by the snake. You haven't made it to the snake yet, have you? It's probably the next level. Because there's a snake that goes across there and prevents, you, prevents it from being safe. <gasps> I didn't move. Time? Oh, did I run out of time? Yeah, I must Did you have. go off the screen? No. Well, no, it no? just died, but I must have You do have limited time. time. Ah, I'm doing terrible. Um, 
Turtles and logs. Your frog must jump on turtles and logs to cross the river. You can jump left and right on the turtles and logs, but be careful to stay on them. If you fall in the river, your frog will die. <laughs> Doesn't say, does not give an explanation here why. Some turtles can float on the water and dive underwater, so be careful when you're jumping on such turtles to hop on another object before they dive. Snakes will appear on the sidewalk and logs as the game becomes more difficult. Oh, snakes are on the logs too. You can hop, hop your frog onto the snake's back, but he'll die if he hops too close to a snake's mouth. Oh, I didn't know you could hop onto the snake. Usually you can hop on the backs. So you can hop on the back of the uh, alligator too, can yeah, you? Yeah, but I didn't know you could hop on the backs of snakes. Do you move with the snake or you can only just like hop on the snake's back and then you have to hop immediately off? Maybe the frog ate a large meal less than an hour ago. I mean, we're gonna have to go with that because there's no other explanation than frog cramps. <laughs> frog cramps. Frog cramps. He gets, he has, you know, leg cramps. You know, he needs to stretch them out before. Oh, oh you just missed. I was looking at my time. Continue on with uh, alligators. Uh, alligators? Where are we? Oh, I'm alligators. so glad I have this. It's oh beautiful. my god. It's so good. So nice. The, the otters joist. really are a pain in the arcade version, too. The, what are, uh, the otters? Otters. Otters? Mm. Never heard of them. Alligators. Swim along among the logs from time to time. It's safe to jump onto the alligator's back, but your frog will die if he's on the alligator's mouth when it opens. Lady frog. Oh, I'm getting the lady frog. Uh, nice. Occasionally you'll see a lady frog hopping along the log. If you hop your frog onto the log to rescue her and take her home, you'll score bonus points. Score! Uh, timer bar, you have approximately 30 seconds to move your frog to a home bay. The timer bar displays the time remaining. Over time, the size of the bar decreases and changes color from yellow mm. to dark red. If the bar vanishes, your time has run out and your frog just dies. Yeah, I see it's red now. But you've got enough time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, end of the game. The game ends when no frogs are left. Oh, they all got squished. Scoring. Each step forward, 10 points. For each remaining clock beat, 10 points. For every frog arriving home safely, 50 points. <laughs> Scoring a lady frog home, 200 points. Oh, definitely worth Catching it. Catching a fly, 200 points. Ooh. Saving all frogs into five homes, 1,000 points. So. Well, you have to do that anyway. Yeah. You're going to get that score. Every time you score a total of 20,000 points, you'll earn another frog. Do, 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 do. I always thought Frogger and Spy Hunter shared the same universe. The cars look very similar. They they do. <laughs> Maybe they use the same chip? Should I go same over developer? the controls? Eh, not controls. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, you move. <laughs> mm. I don't think controls are a problem. Bedtime. Mm, it's the beer. It does it to me every time. Always makes me sleepy. Don't put it there. Oh, oh I died. Sorry. Freaking me out. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cats jump up. Cats jump up. Someone. People uh... squish it. Oh my god, it's too slow. Sometimes the logs are just too slow. Yeah. You have to find another way around. It's true. This is a great version. Mm. Really good. I it mean, looks great. I love the detail it's very on complete. the logs, all the colors. That's too slow. The oh. orange and the blue and the See, green the on the go, logs. Go, go, go away, go away. Everything looks great. Yep. Uh, on the C64, the lady frog was white. Um, oh, really? I don't know what it is in the arcade, whether it's... Um, oh my god, these logs are so slow in the middle there. These turtles are fast, though. Mm. You get the, the extra frog every time. C64 version, it was pretty mm. sparse. Like, it was very rare, if I recall. Yeah. <gasps> uh oh. Oh god. Oh, I'll get it. I'll make it. There we go. Woof. Long Yay. enough log. Good job. Level three. Should be snake, I believe. The arcade version will stack the flying frog mate bonus netting if you. If you oh, there's a 400 snake. if you manage to jump into the frog home with both conditions. So fly and frog. Oh, mm. no. oh my god, there's a snake. Both this and an Arcanite are amazing ports. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
this plays like, nearly the same as the arcade version. It feels really good. It's it's yes. it's definitely a good Frogger. Oh yeah, there's nothing. Oh, there's the snake. Nothing that you're really missing in this version no. at all. No, it's really and really it good. And it looks good. Oh, those logs. Very bright. They're painfully slow. Some of them are. Some are super fast. Oh, should I go on the alligator? What about the fly? Mm-hmm. So it said. Somebody said it stacks up the bonus, like they multiply. If you get the fly and uh, in the arcade version, if you get the fly and the mate, Damn it. Um, yep. the the lady frog. Yep. Um, oh. oh god. Ah. It's okay. It's it comes fast. So. Yeah, my time. Oh my god. Oh, he's on every single one. You have to go fast. The fly goes away too quick. You it can't. does. It it's, comes it's up more of a random thing to fly, I yeah. find. Captain Classic, jump on the back of the croc! Yeah, you can. Yeah. Just don't get eaten. Yeah, just don't That's go down its mouth. That's all that matters. Ugh. Ugh, that snake is, is something to contend with. Oh! Come on! Come on! Come on! No. See, it's so random. Mm -hmm. You can't plan for it, really. I just... I, whenever whenever anyone plays Frogger, I just picture um, Seinfeld and uh, what's his face? George Costanza. George, George Costanza trying to move the Frogger arcade machine uh, across the hurry, 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 the hurry, New York, hurry. The New York street. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a. That's that's the, what I picture in my head every single time. J C Church, thank you for following Yay. and watching. <laughs> 651 but you know as any gamer watching that episode yeah knows they say that oh i played this when we were in high school oh killed my by high school my, my high score is still on it no uh, no. I'm sure some arcade games had a battery backup for high scores. No, but most but of I, them, once they're unplugged, they're, it's gone. The early ones, I am fairly certain Frogger was one of them that did not keep the high scores. Why I'm, do you keep jumping in front of the snakes? Because I have no option. I have to get on that log. No, but you wait until he, he goes past. I don't have time. Yes, you do. Look, look, yeah, this log's so... One. I don't have time. This log is so slow. See, that log had nothing. You could have got uh, jumped on it. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm going to run out of time. No, you're, you're okay. Now the snake's back? No, he's Thank not. Because you killed him. He ate you. Okay. Go, 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 go. Nice. <laughs> Four seconds left. <laughs> that episode bothers me so much. It the bothers actual me game too. doesn't allow you to input your initials for the high score. Oh, it oh, doesn't? Oh, that is hilarious. That's even worse. That's ah, hilarious. I didn't even know that. Oh, God. There you go. Oh, you're going to die. Why didn't you jump on the log? You're so silly. Because I thought there's such a big you gap to do now. Do it. Go right away. Yeah, that, uh, now that episode's going to bother me even more. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, it only shows the top five highest, and I believe will flash your score if it is one of those five. Uh, so it has a score. Yes, remember Seinfeld, George crossing the road to remove Frogger. Oh, and he has it attached, he has it plugged in. I don't yeah. know what he's expecting to do, though, because he'll have to unplug Go. it. Oh! Ah! Down, down, down! Oh! No. Oh. <laughs> I made it fairly far. Frogger. That's a hard level. That's Frogger for you. <laughs> Machine to keep his score. I can't remember. I can't remember what his what he thought he was gonna. He wanted. He bought it from them. I know, but how would when you unplug it? Yeah, you'd you'd have to have... eventually unplug it. Well, I'm guess like either. I can't remember. I remember that episode. He had a long. Like, oh. He had a long extension cord. He did. Yeah. To what end? I don't know. I don't know. I can't even remember it. it. How I, did he... I'm going to go back and watch it because I think it's on Crave on, in Canada. So Another thing, <laughs> like, how did he get that extension cord in? 
Did he quickly unplug it and plug it in? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't matter. None of it makes sense. The whole (laughs) setup was for him to run across the street with an arcade machine. That is the whole point. Yes. Yes. There is is no logic to it other than wanting to watch George Costanza run across a New York street with an arcade machine. Yeah. And I'm I'm totally, I totally buy into that. I'm totally fine with that. Magic of television. Yes, exactly. It's a show about nothing. Yeah. I'm totally fine with that. I just thought that was hilarious but uh yeah the part where he does the frogger across yeah. the street do, 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 do. back make, forth back forth yeah that, that makes up just, for it it was it makes up for it yeah, yeah. a universal power supply yeah. yeah yeah but then why does he need to have a cord across the street oh it could be plugged in into a ups yes and then the ups could be extended but then it doesn't he has matter. to plug it at some point uh, yeah yeah he, he does he does he could bring the ups with so, him and it would be a battery so, yeah but do you think he had UPSs in the no, 80s? No, and he had a cord. There was a cord running across the street. Like, it does not matter. It does not matter in the slightest. <laughs> it really doesn't. It's just him running across the street. That's the best. Yeah. That's that's the gag, right? So, so let's get some it's tips and wonderful. tricks. Wonderful. Yeah. So there's the frog. Oh, the lady frog does look different in the arcade. The lady frog is blue and purple. Very similar to that purple of the sidewalk, and the uh, and the blue. It's like an aqua. I don't really see it anywhere on this screen. And there is uh, five vehicles. They don't really have names for them. They're just cars. Yep. Um, some cars. I haven't seen the the cars. That, I didn't get to the level where the cars sped up. But they go uh, and they go slow and fast. I think we're on the easy easy right now. Easy mode. Some games had NVRAM, which saves high scores after power cycling. Okay. Oh, good night, Carl G. I wonder what the monitor burn-in would be after all those years, too. Probably unplayable. If it was left on for... Oh! See, uh... Seinfeld was, like, early 90s to late 90s, right? Or, um, no, uh, late 80s to... Late 80s? Mid 90s. Okay. Late 80s to mid 90s. So, I believe this was eight. Frogger was eighty one. They could have played it in eighty three, eighty four. So I don't know how old they're supposed to be. Did they say played it in university? They're, they're right? like late, late twenties, early thirties. I, I believe. Right. So let's say there's six years. That would put it at the right date. So it's been plugged in for six years straight. <laughs> Never a power outage. But the problem was there was a massive power outage in New York City in the late 80s or mid 80s. When was that? And it wouldn't have survived that massive power outage unless the restaurant was on a a battery or a generator, which is unlikely. Um, (laughs) Anyway, I'm thinking, overthinking way too much. I think you are, yeah. Because I'm just trying to justify being plugged in that long. Never mind the high score and you're getting it off across the street i don't recall the entire circumstances of it either so oh i do you do of him freaking out and because well, no, he no, said my I, high I, score is still there yeah which is plausible because but I, I, don't know if he ha- I don't know if he had a uh, like some sort of plan for um he didn't talk about the plan. I no, I, I don't know. That that's what I mean. Like I'm gonna look up that episode right now <laughs> and see I think if we there's... need to watch it. I think that's what we, what we yeah, we'll stream do. it. We'll do a live, a live commentary. <laughs> live on it. commentary. Okay, everybody, press play now. Yeah, <laughs> that would be a pretty fun Twitch. <laughs> we'll do the whole Seinfeld series. No, just the Twitch walk. A Twitch uh, watch watch along. Okay, Seinfeld Frogger. It's called The Frogger, the yeah, episode. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, f- <laughs> Let's see what IMDb says about it. Actually, not IMDb. Wikipedia would be better. 174th episode, 1998. Oh, really? Okay. So I thought it was more... It was, it was towards late. the end of the run, I think. It, yeah, it was. Season 9. That was the last season. Was it? Yeah. And one of the later episodes. Uh, hmm, the plot. Okay. 
Jerry and George go to their old high school high school hangout. So it was when they were in high school for one sli last slice of pizza. George discovers he still has the high score on the old Frogger game. Mm. 860,630 points. So he didn't say his name was in there, which, which follows. They did the research at least mm. for that. Um... Okay, George decides to buy the Frogger machine to preserve his fame. But Jerry asks, how will he move it and keep it plugged in to preserve the high score? Mm -hmm. George works to find a solution to his Frogger problem. And, uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. It works to it. Okay. Where, okay, where does it come back? George and Kramer meet with Slippery Pete and truck driver Sh Shlomo to coordinate the movement of the Frogger machine. Doesn't say how. Um, uh, George finds Slippery Pete playing his Frogger game on battery power until about three minutes of power remain. So somehow he got it onto battery. Some battery power. Mm. Possible... I don't think so, but I don't know. Oh, it shows his initials next to the score in the actual episode. So did they make up a screen? A Frogger screen? A fake Frogger screen? Maybe. <laughs> oh my goodness, I gotta look that up. <laughs> and see that screen. Frogger, Seinfeld. Should be an image. I'm sure somebody took a screenshot of that. Uh, here we go. Yep. It shows names beside it. Happy Friday to you too. GLC. George L. Costanza. So there it is. And I'll move that over after. Actually, I can just paste it. I can't really paste it. Can I? Ah. Why does this never work? Moving the. There we go. Okay, now I can paste it. <laughs> Point is, doesn't have a high score screen like that. Uh, there we go. So there's the high score from the the show. Um, oh, died. But people are saying it doesn't have a high score screen like yeah. that. I've also never seen a Frogger cab with little frogs on the side of the cab as artwork. Mine doesn't have any side art. Never has. Oh. Could have been redone. You know, it got yeah, all it's worn a off. It's a possibility. And he had it for a long time. He obviously loves the Frogger machine in his, his restaurant. So he got it, you know, custom custom decals on the side for Frogger. That's a possibility. But just the battery thing. Like, how did he get it on the battery? Um, so he has three minutes of power to remain. The only oh. available power source is across a busy street. Um... George starts moving the machine across a busy street, moving through traffic like the frog from the video game. However, as George reaches the opposite sidewalk, he's unable to lift the game onto the curb, and an oncoming Freightliner smashes the game cabinet, causing Jerry to quip, Game over. <laughs> yep. Aww. The ever uncaring uh, group of friends. Just yeah. goes, eh, game just, over. They are truly <laughs> assholes. Yeah. They are. Which is which is which is what makes this show so funny. Yeah. Uh, oh, funny. Twin Galaxies Intergalactic Scoreboard issued a colorful poster in 2005 that offered $1,000 cash to the first video game player who could beat George Costanza's fictional Frogger high score. That's funny. No player was able to beat this mark before really? 2005. Really? That it, is pretty funny. It took till 2009 for somebody to beat George Costanza's fix, fictional score. But then pe two people... Only three people in the world have beaten his score. I almost got eaten by an alligator. 
Um, oh, <laughs> almost. Almost. But you, uh, but you didn't? No, I, I, oh, I think you beat he the level? just appeared just as oh, I jumped in. Oh, he wasn't in. fully there yet. Oh, you, you could have made it. I don't know if yeah. I could have. Would have been a little tight. <gasps> oh, oh, out of nowhere. Oh, snakey snake. Snakey. Captain Classic uh, thinks they would have to, they had to redo the artwork for copyright issues, which is that possible. That is certainly possible. Oh. Too slow. I'm dead. I think that was, oh, no, I've got one more. I mean, uh, Seinfeld played pretty fast. Ah, what am I doing? I'm trying to, I'm going too fast now. I'm going to play the hard version. You're going to play hard? Seinfeld played pretty fast and loose with... Um, A lot of things. <laughs> so there is a... There's a, a harder version and an easier version for this. Let me just... Uh, there's, you have to s flip the switches. Let me just open it up. Hi. Hi, kitten. Hi, sir. Come here. So, Froggy. Come here. Three, I think it's just lives, so it's fine. We'll just play with the number of lives we have then. Doesn't make it harder or easier. Just gives you different lives. Well, let's play with five, because we want to go as, oh, God. Oh, my God. Can I rage reset? <laughs> rage reset. Go ahead. Oh, that was terrible. And after this, we're going to play Robot War 2684. Oh, to try it on the uh, Just Edladen? to try it out. Sounds good. Rev and Thule, have a good night. Have, have a, a good, good night. Weekend. Oh, extra frog. Let's get that. Did you get bonus points for the you remaining time, though? Uh, yes, you do, I think. Oh, okay. So you do want to get up there as quickly as possible. Yeah, I think so. Oh, there is. They kind of appear. Yeah. They don't slide onto the screen. And I think it's somewhat hard to do that, to slide things on the screen. I don't know. On a 7800. Oh, is that a sweet cat? He is. He's very he's just like spat all over my hands. Is he drooly? Yeah, he's drooly. Drooly he's cat. Really happy. <laughs> he's not normally drooly. No. Oh, it's really a fast, weird. speedy car there. All right. Last frog to get in there. Oh, wonderful show. Thank you so much, Reverend Tully. This is truly a classic. Oh, yeah. One of like, the classic games. Just, just so iconic really <laughs> it is Every, like everybody knows Frogger. yeah and it's it's i i i mean simple concept very yeah, easy to understand it's a dodging game right and and it gets harder i can't think of a whole heck of a lot of games with this style of gameplay no not many See, copies got eaten, but yeah you can get in before before he shows up it gives you a bit of leeway because it's kind yeah. of unfair to to kill you if it just appears all of a sudden i guess what other games are like this where you have to cross up the screen? Yeah. There's, I can't think of. I've definitely, other we've definitely ones. played someone's homebrew that was a bit like this, but. Um... On the twenty six hundred. Oh, just just a. Crossbow says that when I used to ho host my own gaming con here in my town each year, my Frogger cab would get the most plays according to the odometer readings before and oh. after the show. Oh wow. Yeah, freeway. Someone mentioned freeway. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Definitely, uh... Never explain why a frog can't swim. Exactly. <laughs> he just—he's just not a swimming frog. Oh, you just got there in time. He just doesn't like swimming. It's like cats. They just—they just don't want to do it. They it can. Might be one of the few arcade games that uses only the joystick and no buttons for oh. actual gameplay. Well, do you use your button to play Pac-Man all that much? No. Not really. No, I mean. You don't. Do no, you, you, you might don't start, at all. but uh, nope. Pac-Man's another one. Just yeah. start, start button. 
player one button. Space Treat Deluxe 2600 Homebrew. Oh, oh yes, yes, few. that's right. There yep. are a few. It's not a, a super common style of game, I guess. No, it wasn't copied very much. Not too much. Even though it was a super popular game, mm -hmm. I guess people just didn't come up with other ideas well, of as, going as up the screen. As systems became more complex, you could do more things, and this probably seemed a little simplistic, but... Yeah, maybe things raced ahead in terms of technology and just like, no, nobody wants to do that anymore. Yes, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Running out of time. And that is why they are so popular, because they are simple to play. Yeah. They're simple and they're challenging. They're not... Frogger's not really that easy a game. The lower mm. levels are, but it gets harder pretty Oh yeah, quick. there's lots of enemies and opponents. And the, and the speed... The cars aren't... Uh, not really concerned. I'm never worried about the cars. It's no. the second um, part. It's this damn snake on the log. Yeah. To try and catch it when, uh, when it's not a snake on the log. It's easier when it's crossing the sidewalk there. He's always happy. He's so happy. I love Hi, life. Buddy. Yeah, he does love life. Everything about it. Yeah. Everything in it. It's especially like, food. Yeah. Are you going to get like, the fly? Pandemic, Hooray. pandemic, he says. What's wrong with my frog at the end? There we go. <laughs> it was all home. It funky. does look weird when it first the fifth one goes in. I don't know what that is. Azir says there's a scene in Raiders of the Lost Ark that's similar. Indy has to cross the screen avoiding oh. the thieves. Yeah. yeah. That's Oh my god. Where you ha he has to step on uh, certain letters. Right? I don't know if it's said yet, but Frogger oh, does hold le record for most number of, way uh, number of ways of dying. <laughs> yeah. Number of opportunities. Ways, yes. yeah, ways. You can drown, you can get hit by a car, you can get eaten by a snake. Oh my god. Go back down, yeah. The snake's still there. Is he gonna be there in the next pass? Please no. don't be. No. Nope. Oh, thank God. How much time do I have? Not a lot. You should have jumped on that log. Nope. I don't know what you were thinking. If you can, you go for the hardest. I know one. it's true. I, you want to get there first. But if you can't, then yeah, pick one that you. Uh... Is the snake gonna be there? Oh goddamn snake! Ah! Oh! You can jump really quickly across if you're lucky. Je everything has to be lined up, yeah. all three things. Yeah, and that's I know. so hard to yeah. do. Oh my God. There, there, I did it. Happy? Nope. <laughs> now I'm gonna die. Oh, almost! Oh! Rough. Rough times. I didn't beat George Costanza. No. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> oh, that's really great um, version. It's really good. Um, so we're going to go back to Robo uh, Robot Yeah, you've War. got two joysticks. Woo -hoo -hoo. Robot War. Robot War. Robot War. So exciting. Let's see how this plays. Uh, Crossbow says, I think the otter shows up on the next screen in place oh. of the snake. He is easier Have to deal with. Have you ever seen the otter? No. Oh my gosh, kitten. I'm covered in cat fur. I think he's doing his uh, spring springtime shed. Oh god! And he doesn't like being brushed. I know. It's, oh, Sadly. it's everywhere. Oh my goodness! Look at this. Look at this craziness. Okay. It's terrible. Get this. You're awful. <laughs> You're awful. Oh, covered in cat fur. Well, so let's get rid of that cartridge graphic because it is not applicable. Appropriate? <laughs> not appropriate. Very not appropriate. Wow, this looks so clean. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it looks so clean compared to the 7800. Well, it's RGB, that's why. Mm. Uh, hmm. How old of a version of Robot, Robot War do I have on here? <laughs> I'm sure it's I may have not to load that. Called Robotron. 2020. That's how old. I'm gonna have to load a new one. All right. Because I am not gonna play an old one when there's a new one. 
in case there's updates. Just so you know, the Atlantan did just arrive, so. Yeah, yeah. so I was not 100% prepared for doing all of this. But luckily, it doesn't take long. Robot War. Newest one is 0212. That's pretty damn new. I'll just put it in the delete folder. There we go. And eject. See? Less than 30 seconds. And we're back. <laughs> in the delete folder. Prince of Persia has a lot of ways of dying. A joystick, B joystick. Yes, it does. We could play two player, but I just want no. to try this out. That's yeah, the no, point of should. this. Um, Is it? Standard. Oh, I guess it's not two player. You could, like, you could have that one. I, I but one player one. will will work with two joysticks. Is that yes. the idea? Yes. Uh, um, I think you have to set those properly. Mm. Oh, let's just make sure. Yep. Is this not this? Nope, it's, it's not. Oh, let's get that nice. We'll be playing this for the rest of the evening. <laughs> nice. It's different. It's very strange. It's definitely a go way to play this game. Oh, for sure. It's okay. I'm not good at it. <laughs> well, you gotta get used to it, right? So. You do. Much easier just to like switch aiming, right? Mm -hmm. The direction you want. Spikes fall too far. Alright. Oh, it is not I'm terrible at yeah. this. <laughs> My turn! My turn! Player one! Oh, Dirk Daring Dragon Slayer, 50 to 100 death animations, yes. Yeah, we're talking about classic art, uh, 80s arcade games. Because usually there's just like, the enemy shoots you, that's it. Um, so, yeah, Fro Frogger is definitely an example of a lot, probably the earliest example of a lot of different ways of dying. Usually it's just like bullets or running into the enemies. If it was a game that you could run into the enemies if they actually drove down. Because the enemies didn't really move down to where you were until later, until like Galaxian. That kind of era. It's definitely a game that's better played than two. <laughs> two joysticks? Yeah. Oh. oh yeah. It does take a bit of getting used to. It does. Because I've, we've never played it with so far apart. I feel like your hands are like completely... They are very separate. That's with one joystick. Oh, I see. Right. It, might, it might be. That continues? No. I just switches to one joystick. Right? That was one joystick. Yeah. It only switches to one joystick. Oh. With two, it's you always have to say a direction. 
Karatika has the best death animation for approaching the princess in the fighting stance. What does she do to you? Does she kick you? Or does she punch you? That was like the most frustrating thing for people who uh, didn't know the game. There's a game that you play all the way through that if you run towards somebody, they will kick you and die. Oh, really? Except at the very end of the game, when you rescue the princess, you have to run to her. Because you run into her arms. But if you approach her blocking, she attacks you and kills you. Mm. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, every game has different volumes, depending on what people set and what type of noises. It doesn't save. It doesn't, doesn't save anyway. It doesn't matter. Got to enter the PL2. PL2? PL1. There you go. Rescue the person first. These are such nice joysticks. <laughs> they are so nice. They're so good. They're real joysticks. quality hardware. Oh, they're, they're not cheap. You get what you pay for, that's for sure. Clear a spot. And there's somebody offering really nicely made single joystick 7800 uh, mm. joysticks in the forums. And I um, have two on order so that we... So when we do play... Two separate games, like 7800, yeah. 2600. We have our own separate joysticks. Nice. And even like when we play four-player games, we can have four actual proper joysticks because that monster joystick is not, it's mm. not doing it. It's, and we'll it's, have four it's kind 70, of having some issues now, yeah. And we'll have four 7800 joysticks. Oh, nice. So we'll be ready for anything. James, that is Bratwurst, and I just paid for mine this evening. Yes, Bratwurst, yes. Oh, you got to pay for it. Excellent. I think mine is coming up soon that I'll be able to pay for it. He did message me recently that he's got one ready for me because he's making left-handed and right-handed joysticks. And he had one left and one right. And I'm like, no, no, I want both joysticks on the left. So it's quite correct for me. So it was almost ready. Oh, there's two people still, but they're all zombies. I think I got an extra one. I think you did. Uh, I heard a good noise. Mm. <laughs> I hate these generators. Yes. But they just make more the worst. enemies. Uh, they're the worst. It's like Gauntlet, where it's like, oh, if you don't kill the generators, just gonna keep making yeah. ghosts. Mm hmm. Sit there and eat, eat up your all your food, all you want. Yeah, this is way better, way easier to play. As I die in the next two seconds. Well, uh, easier that's... to play, but still a hard game. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, just came out of nowhere. Things spawn things that spawn things in this game. Crosswest says, I requested the stick on the left and the buttons on the right as well, even though I'm right-handed, but that is how they were in the arcades. It's true, you just get used to what's in the arcade. Come on! Ah. Uh, game over. I'll have another go. PL2. You going to try the actual 7800 version of this game now that you have the controller? Should I go dig it up? I guess I should. Should Might you? Well. Prepare it.
Switch over. Yeah, we can switch over anytime. Okay. Dead. It's okay. I couldn't see because your head was in the way. So. Uh, that happens. <laughs> All of my arcade cats. Have, yep. Now we're going to play the Robotron 7800 now that we can play it properly. Uh, ah, these long cables are the best. These extenders mm -hmm. are so good to get. NTSC Robotron 2084 Nice Challenge We'll just play intermediate Yeah <laughs> So does this automatically out of the gate have two joysticks? I'm guessing Yeah, it does Oh, the, oh, the 2600 version is pretty good <laughs> <laughs> I actually it's think fine. this looks fine, but I, uh, it's almost like the 2600 looks better. Yeah. Not exactly, but... Like, it's different, obviously. It's different, but, but it... Oh, it's so quiet. Turn it up on the TV. Just a little bit. Not too much. Like, the... This is definitely chunkier. Like, it, mm. the movement is chunkier. It doesn't have the awesome border. And all the animations for uh, coming in, like all the enemies coming in on the screen. You know where they warp in? Yeah. Look how chunky things it move. It is very chunky. Commando's amb ambidextrous. Oh, like in the arcade, you mean? Brains are cool on this one. Yeah. Well, I actually think the uh, zombies are more impressive in the uh, 2600. And oh, yeah. Version. Oh, yeah. My missile command, track mm -hmm. on the right, joystick on the left. Oh. This is fine. Like, people, I'm sure, would have been very happy with this back. Oh, yeah, back in the in day. In the 80s, yeah. Whenever this came out year but I think the 2600 version is better hi cat oh my god those balls, like those oh, balls my god. are crazy oh my god yeah they're a lot harder to dodge yeah uh, they're very fast and choppy mm. so you can't really see where exactly they're going hi, sir Affectionate oh yeah, the enemies warp in on the 2600 Very version. So much better animation than 2600. 5200 version came with a holder for both controllers. That is cool. 7800 version is passable, says Nathan Strong. Oh yeah. It's oh no, totally it's fine. it's it's a good game, a good version. Oh, I God. I really like John's version on the 2600. Oh yeah. Yeah. Pixel, what do you think? What do you think, It's like, buddy? either's fine. I don't care. Where's my food? 
Can I rub up against your hand while you're playing? He says. <laughs> That's oh, all I he's care so about. So happy. So happy today. He's like, are there treats? Is there a bell and treats tonight? Cause uh, that's why I'm down here. I don't. This version is kind of mushy. mushy. Like the colors are muddy. What's the 2084s on the screen? Uh. Are things to shoot. Do yeah. You get points. Things to shoot. <gasps> oh. This things to shoot. They, they, it is in the. Uh, 2600 version we just didn't get, didn't get oh, far enough really yeah well, we played pretty far ahead on that version oh my god die 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 but we didn't we didn't make it to there really? i'm on the 10th wave here bases on screen that way the three buttons for the bases are on the left mm. those little wiggly things are so hard to shoot because when they're coming for you they're like one line oh all the slide guys oh god better shoot these guys <laughs> really? Just out of nowhere? Oh my god, so many things! So many enemies! Oh yeah, this would have been incredible back in the 80s if you got this on, on the 7800. Mm -hmm. You got an extra man, I think. Got lucky Barely there. surviving here. Where's what do I need to this shoot? Stupid red thing go. in the corner there. It's being protected. Get out of out there. There we go. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna die. Got all those things coming for me. Well, it gives me lots of practice with these two joysticks. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, your mind has to kind of acclimatize to to moving and shooting separately. Oh, you're getting better. Yeah, amazing. Wow. <laughs> I'm actually. I missed the game transition. What is this? Fifty-two hundred or seventy-eight hundred? It's seventy-eight hundred. I uh, I don't have my fifty-two hundred in any kind of state of usability. <laughs> One is missing a pokey chip now. I don't have any controllers that work. I do On have your a fifty-two hundred. Yeah. I do have a box that I can plug a, a Genesis controller into, mm. or a normal joystick into yeah. that will work. Uh, digital joysticks, but um, hi. You've got oh, a cat by cats. your feet. Two cats. My goodness. Because we wanted to try out uh, the new uh, Ed Laden joystick. It's, it's beautiful. So beautiful. I'm glad I picked those colors. They're so they pretty. work really well. They're so pretty. I wish he had see-through buttons. That would have been nice. Oh, see through red if they were like and black. clear and you could see that. Yeah. yeah. But that wasn't an option. No, but those are beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh. I'll switch over. There, I can see. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I highly, highly recommend them after now playing. Mm -hmm. uh, Very solid, metal. beautifully, beautifully made. Yep. Metal, not yep. plastic, metal. It's all metal. All yep. metal. And these are Athens, the new colors. Athens, Georgia. Very lovely. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's really great. Yeah. Um, great for like 7,800 games because it's got the two buttons. Mm. Did the 5200 has a po poke chip? Yes, and I pulled one out to put in to the, the 7800 uh, uh, 7, multi cart. Multi -cart yeah. um, because the one I had that I ordered um, didn't quite work. It's not compatible right now. It might be when there's mm -hmm. updates, but it's not compatible right now. Dave Exton is doing a Robot 2684, the manual mm -hmm. Dave Exton is doing. Ooh. Ooh, Dave Exton. Excellent. Looking forward to that. He's a great artist. Along with Nathan Strom, of course. Um, it's good there's there's two of you because <laughs> yes. there's lots of games for both of you to do artwork on. Um, so that is more than the last game <laughs> that we played today because we did more than we thought because mm. I got the two two joysticks or the uh, new twin joystick. So we played today uh, three games primarily: Arkanoid, mm -hmm. which is really good. And and it's good that it has those multiple options for input because you like the joystick, and I like the paddle. Yeah, I think I prefer the joystick. I'm more comfortable with the joystick hey, than hey, paddle. Hey, 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 hey. What are you doing? What kind of attention Cuddles. are you looking for? Cuddles for you. No. Oh, let's look Lovely. at his pixel. Where's his big black pixel? Right there. Right here. It's unattached to all the other colors. Yeah, it's just he's a got black a big black pixel, pixel right on and the belly. And he loves this. Oh. No. Um, Arkanoid, super awesome conversion. Highly recommended. You can play with everything. 
mm -hmm. uh, except the keyboard controller. <laughs> um, then we played uh, Dragon's uh, Havoc. Excellent. Dragon Havoc. Beautiful. It looks great. Just one level, one, one um, yeah. three series levels. of three levels. Yeah. So one um, stage. Phase, he called them, I think. Yeah. Phase one. Yeah. yeah. Um, so good. Great animation. Mm -hmm. Great uh, design. The levels are fun. Very innovative power-up scheme. Mm -hmm. A little unforgiving, but as you get better... Like, as you'd be like more it. deliberate with your shots, you get better like at it. Yeah. Very, very innovative. I liked it a lot. Mm. And I like the, the graphic I did for it. <laughs> you see it? With the, I, I made that up because he didn't have a graphic. <laughs> anyway, uh, and then we played Froggy, mm -hmm. which is a great conversion. Excellent, excellent Frogger game. Yep. Yeah. For the 7800, it was mm -hmm. a 7800 night. And playing on the Atladen, that is also awesome. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend getting that if you're looking for kind of a joystick solution that's going to be solid. They have simpler ones than that. They have single joysticks. Mm -hmm. They have buttons on the left and right for yeah. people who want to switch. Mm. They have Coleco ones with the pad built into it as well. That's cool. Um, so they have a variety of joysticks. But this covers 99% of my needs. Yeah. It gets you through Ro Robot War or Robot Tron. Yep. Two people can play. Fabulous. Works in the 7800. Yep. Works in the 2600 as well. It would work on the 8-bit system too. Yeah. It works on everything. So it solves so many problems. Um, and, and we played Robotron 7800, yes. which I've never played before. <laughs> and we've hit 651 Twitch followers. Yay! Yay! Thank you That's so much amazing. for following. That's and amazing. Enjoying the show. I can't believe 650 yep. people get notified <laughs> of your show of the show every twice a week that's awesome yeah uh quadtari as well single button use yeah it does work on the quadtari anywhere a single button works this could be commodore 64 yeah it can work on coleco mm -hmm. i guess as well kind of uh it has two buttons does those both the same i can't remember but you don't you don't get the numbers uh yeah it works on so many systems mm -hmm. that use db9 because a lot of them do uh, uh, so next show, what I have scheduled right now, we're definitely going to be playing Mr. Yo-Yo because that's a very solid, it's going to be a 2600 show. It's a very solid game now. It's working completely. The flicker's gone. It's wonderful. We're definitely going to be playing 79 Pompeii. We're definitely going to be playing Alia Quest. Uh, we may or may not be playing Dragon Hunt. We'll see. Uh, hopefully the Dragonfly cart is coming in a week. It's been a month, over a month now since I ordered it. It's slow. Mail's slow. It'll come eventually. It'll be a big surprise on a show yeah. someday. Like, oh, look what we got. <laughs> Could be in the mailbox now. Didn't check today. That's true. Checked yesterday. It wasn't there. It wasn't there, unfortunately. No. Uh, developer Spotlight, uh, probably more sooner than later now, um, Maybe end of March. Okay. I think I can, we can make it happen for the end of March for that one. We'll see. Um, and so we're probably going to be trading back and forth, 7,800, 2,600, 7,800, um, and catching up on games. It's a bunch of homebrew, old homebrew, that I've never played on the 7,800. Mm -hmm. uh, just like Froggy. That is not a new game. So we'll s sprinkle in. Oh, there it is. Can you hand me that? Uh, sprinkle in old 7800 homebrew with Some the new old ones. stuff with new, yeah. Yeah, there's, so we get a nice There's got to be a lot balance. out there, so that's excellent. Oh, yeah, because we just started playing the 7800. Yeah. Um, congrats. On what? Hooray! Oh, the joystick, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm very happy. <laughs> oh, my God. This is what we're going to be using from now on yeah, for yeah, both yeah, systems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why I want to keep, like, one system. Then Well, and then we have the monster one if we need... To you torture know. ourselves. Well, yeah. no, to sit separately and not be well, that's like, true. Eh. So, that's true. so that's good. Second player. We have good two good joysticks now. Yeah. Yeah. Alley Quest is a very good shooter. I've been playing it off and on. Mm -hmm. It's hard to shoot the enemies because mm -hmm. uh, they kind of protect themselves. They protect each other because they come in this these waves like this and they're in behind each other. It's very, very different. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing that. Oh, 650 subs. Yes, yeah. thank you. Yeah. It is amazing. I, it, it is that that many people are, are want to watch you know 2600 or want to be notified when you're when you're that too are, are uh, yeah 
streaming. So that's, that's really, really good. wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe half of them are bots. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, you have, how many people do you have subscribed right now? Uh, it varies from like 40 to 50. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's a pretty solid group of people subscribed. A, I mean. A good ratio. Yeah. You know, about 10 times as many followers yeah. as, as subs. That's a so very good ratio. It's, it's, yeah. uh, it's grown quite a bit since uh, 2018 when it started. So. Oh, yeah. Three years. That's, yeah, yeah. that's unquestionable about that for yeah. sure. And I have enjoyed this last year <laughs> being on the show twice a week. Yeah. Um, I know both Darcy and Erlen probably would like to come back and uh, do a few shows here and there when yeah. uh, things permit. So. Either that or I think it's a show about craft That's beer. possible. Yeah, they That's, sign up and go, oh, and then they forget they followed. And yeah. Then, then they just ignore <laughs> yeah. the notifications. Oh, it's that beer show. Oh, no, it's not that beer show. No. It had nothing to do with, we, yeah, do you drink beer? I do. I like could the review my... the homebrew yeah. beer. It was That's very a... good, actually, the beer oh, I no. had today. It's a cat throwing Oh, up. just don't pay attention. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to hear that. Cat owner's oh, worst no. sound. Oh. Did you get it all out? Poor kitty. Oh, no. Oh, Tanya's a good addition. Love, Love the... the wine and beer delays. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Five I, to ten minutes. I of... get home from work, I have ten minutes to eat, and then I have to fill my beer cup that's slash right. wine glass. So, that's yeah, right. that's very true. Uh, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. We'll be back on... It is Friday. We'll be back on Tuesday with 2600 Games. That's right. Thanks for hanging out. Captain Classic, Nathan Strum, Arena Foot, Crossbow, Dan, Miss Command. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vitoco 8 bits. Yay! Uh, uh, lots of people. To Azure's in there. Oh, Azure, yeah. yeah. Oh, stinks. Rev and Thule. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, Princeton Tiger. That's a new yeah. name. Happy Friday. Jumped happy in to Friday say happy to you Friday. Too. Uh, Stink cat. Mayhem K Smith. I is Posta. Hi, I is Posta. Yeah. Snuck in there. Uh, uh, Carl G. Oh, and that's the end of the mm -hmm. chat. It only scrolls back so far. Yes. Usually cover it from the beginning to the end. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. It was a fun bunch of games, and that's mm -hmm. what makes it fun. Is there something in this? Maybe. It looks like a letter. Oh, it opens. Oh, do I want to open it? Yeah. It's all shiny. Yeah, I think you do. Kind of looks like my writing, but not really. Your writing? <laughs> not really. To be very careful. It's like a certificate of authenticity. We need a 2600 homebrew beer game, then it would all tie in. Are there any beer games? I mean, there's Tapper, but that's not a homebrew. <laughs> homebrew beer game, yeah. I can't think of any beer. Oh, there is There is a beer game. What are you doing? Just rip it open. No, because that'll rip it. But it's it's I, I it's can just an envelope. It. No, it's special. Everything is special. <laughs> it's one of a kind. Oh, how are you feeling? Better or oh, worse? Oh, poor kitty. Hi. Were you all uh, snuggly because you were sick? Yes, Smith. Steam it open. Tapper yeah. two. No, it was beer. Beer pong. Beer pong. Beer pong. That's what it was. Yeah. So it's two Adladen stickers, nice. I guess. Nice. To replace that one if mm -hmm. it wears out. Yeah, it's the same sticker. And then uh, serial number. Super Twin 78, serial number 86, 02, 03, 21 in the U.S. way of making dates. So it'd be... <laughs> Two, three. Month, day, September, year? Uh, February 3rd, 2021. Yeah. You can't sort no. it like that. No. No. It's so It'd weird. Be, you'd be all the months of every year <laughs> first. So yeah. all the Januarys would be together. January of last year. January of three years ago. <laughs> oh, crazy. Now for a Canadian rant, yes. Well, <laughs> people in Canada do this too. And it drives me uh, up Yeah, the wall. I don't know. I don't get it. Four-digit year. Year, month, day. Year, month, day. Yeah. Computers can sort them. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Digress. The USA system yes. is dumb. Yes. Year, month, day. Yep. Year, month, day. Sort, sort, sort. That's how it works. So uh, this is just going to go back in. Exactly it was. And it seals up because it's still sticky because it's new. There we go. Um... All right. That's it. Yay. Thank you it's for time joining for the weekend. us. Have a good weekend. I have some cat vomit to clean up now. <laughs> Poor kitty. Ugh. Poor little kitty. He always yep. feels better afterwards. Yep. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Not how we do it. Month, day, years, all you need. 
Yeah, mm. computers can't sort that crossbow. <laughs> you can't do that. Type that is in, in text things, and it just doesn't know what to do with it. Anyway. Anyway, uh, we'll be here back on Tuesday with some 2600 homebrew, and hope you guys can join us, and we'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.